we're gonna do a shell challenge today. Let me get my um. I'm gonna play the Stardew Rally soundtrack again. Sorry. Uh, let me get my music on, <laughs> and then we can game a little bit. Um, there is a cat in here. Snap is in here, and she's playing with her weird little banana toy right now. So if you hear any noises. It's just a cat, don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, and happy Friday! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm getting the game open right now. Oh, and the good news is Dan's PC is fixed. Um, we paid someone to fix it and they installed the new power supply and it was the power supply issue like we thought, so it's fine now. Um, so the problem is solved. Dan is back, he has a computer again. <laughs> it's been like a week of him trying to edit from his laptop, which is fine, but oh, there's an empty cat cam. But not ideal, because it's just a lot slower and like his computer struggles and stuff on a laptop to export everything, so. Um, it's a nice improvement that his PC is back and working again. So, anyway, welcome back! Shell challenge. I'll explain how it all works in a minute too. I want to give people a chance to come in first and then we'll talk. Oh, come on, game. Come on. Fix. Work. <sighs> Wait for it, it'll come back. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's because basically I have a display capture and a game capture. The difference is this. I wanted it to be on game capture so you wouldn't see everything else. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we didn't go to the cake tasting, Ginger. We went to a, like the caterer tasting for like the dinner and we ended up booking with them. So um, we have the, the meal that will be... Where did the cat go? We have the people who are gonna cook the dinner confirmed, which is a relief and also kind of scary because the caterer is like the most expensive part of the whole wedding. So signing that contract was like, Ugh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> now we're really in it. <laughs> uh, but that's, it's good to have it solved because they, they have like all of the, um, the caterer comes with rentals for like the tablecloths and the plates and all of those things. So that covers a lot of um, stuff that you don't wanna have to worry about, you know? So, <laughs> oh no, it means you gotta get married now. Well, I keep joking to Dan. <laughs> I'll be like, ah, oh, at this point it's too late to back out. Like we're stuck, we have to get married. And then he always says, Kayla, we got married two and a half years ago. Which is true. Um, <laughs> so it's really too late to back out now. <laughs> we're a little too far gone on that one. <laughs> He's got me there, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird how it's been such a long time, but now it would be even more embarrassing because there's so many people that have been invited and then that would be bad. Snap is, look at that. Hold on, where is she? She's rolling around with her little cactus thing right now. That's actually really cute. I'm glad that she's doing this so that you can see. <laughs> I'm glad that she's playing. Um, CM and Otter and Spring and Day and Casper and Little and Gomez and, and John and Fab. We got Fem and Mega. Thank you all for this. I'm sorry, buddy. She's very cute. I don't think that I can really very easily... Well, hold on. Let me see about something really fast. Let me move my face cam off. This is a bad idea because she's going to like roll around and we won't be able to... Oh, I don't think I can move the cat cam over there. It doesn't... It won't like reach that, that far. It's cause my PC is on this side, so it's easier. I can't really get the cat cam over there. I'm sorry, chat. I was gonna try. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm back. <laughs> she gets her stitches out on Tuesday. So she still has a few more days left, um, but then she can take the cone off on Tuesday, which will be good. She'll be very pleased about that, I think. <laughs> she'll, she'll be real happy about that one. Um, <laughs> and AG and, and Huffle, thank you for the subs. We've got uh, uh, John and Jess and Meow and Elena and Gremlin and Megan and Mango and Lady and Emil. Thank you so much. Um, Magic Touch, Arson, Moon Socks, Mystic Princess, Mellow and LJ and Coffee and Emma and Claire and Valley and Sirius and Lil Bird and Brit and Burb. Thank you all for the subs. I think we should be caught up. Um, Deficient, it is currently 4.05 in the afternoon for me where I am. Um, oh my gosh. CM, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. What the heck? <laughs> that is extremely generous. Thank you so much for, for all of those sub gifts. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the heck? That is really, really kind of you. So many people are gonna have a sub now thanks to you. Um, and Emma and Vice and JJ and Sav and Abigail, thank you for the subs and bits too. Um, okay, so... 
let's start thinking. Let me explain to you what a shell challenge is. We'll probably just do it on like a 30 by 20 blank lot for now and then we'll um, pick a better spot for it. I'm gonna take a picture. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. Behind my monitor a little. I wanna take a picture of Snap so that you can see what we're talking about. She does this where she just sits there and she like kind of guards her little toys. So she's just sitting there with her little cactus. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> the way she's just sitting there with it. <laughs> she always does that every day. Very funny. Um, anyway, sometimes she uses it like a pillow. She rests her head on it, but she already has a pillow attached to her head right now. So she doesn't need to do that. <laughs> Um, Sassel, thank you for the 42 months. CM, thank you for the resub. Uh, Bexlo and Satine and Otter and Gab and Kay, thank you for the subs too. Okay, so let me walk you through the situation. When we do a shell challenge, um, I'll show you an example of our most recent one first, probably. When we do a shell challenge, the idea is very simple. It is a shell of a building, an empty box. This was the Yeehaw shell challenge. <laughs> um, it's literally just a box, a, a random empty box. And what we do is we put it on the gallery and then people are able to download it. They can rotate the lot. They can put it on a bigger lot. They can put it on a smaller lot. They can change and turn it into a building. But the, the concept is that all of the shell, the, the walls that are already there has to be the same. So we all have that same shell of a building, but we turn it into a million different things. So mine ended up turning into, where did it go? It was right there. It, I made this with it. Um, but if you look on the hashtag, let me pull it up so I can show you. If you look on the hashtag, people make like a million different things. Um, like you would never recognize that these are all the same box. Um, so that's kind of the idea of a shell challenge. Um, and there's people who have a lot of questions about, can I do this? Can I do that? You can always do everything. You just can't delete the existing walls, okay? <laughs> um, otherwise, basically anything goes. Um, and it's pretty cool because look at how different all of these builds are. Um, you would never know. And I just think it's a fun way to explore the creativity of the community and like kind of do a fun challenge together. So we're gonna make a new one today. Um, we have not built the box yet. We're gonna do that right now. Sometimes it, it involves a little bit of like winging it kinda, <laughs> where we kind of just like build something and then, and then go with it. Um, and no diagonals maybe. <laughs> we can, we'll have no diagonals this time. We, we can have no diagonals today. Um, can I make the shell evil today? I had a bad day and it would make me happy for you to struggle. <laughs> what a thing to say. Can you? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. C chose violence today. Fascinating. <laughs> John, thank you for the thousand bits. Um, and Little with the five gifted subs. Queen and Sarkon and Stu and Sleepy and Aeonial, thank you for the subs. Well, I'm sorry that you had a bad day. Um, are you sure you want the day to get worse? <laughs> hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure if the shell should be big, small. We had a relatively small shell last time, um, but I'm not sure like what the best thing to do is. Um, I'm not doing three floors. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. We are not doing three floors. <laughs> There's absolutely no way, shape, or form that you'll catch me doing three floors on this shell. No. It goes out, it goes so much worse than you think it will when you make it have three floors. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I feel like we should do kind of a, a weird shape. Like what if it was like, this is just a starting point, but what if it was like kind of a, an L shape? And then we can add some stuff to it. What if it was Texas shaped? Oh my God. <laughs> um, Oh, it's a llama! Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the llama shell. <laughs> okay. Um, I would love to see what people try and do with this. 
to me, this is so funny. Do you think that it's it's doable if we had it like? I don't even think this is that bad. To be honest, I think that like it's weird enough, but it's it's like still there's still potential here. Does that mean it should just be one floor or no? If it's shaped like a llama. Maybe the neck should be a little bit skinnier. And and then maybe should the llama have like a backpack? I'm just trying to think if this wall is too blank. I don't know. I think that because it's a llama, it's not that bad if it's just one floor. It's not big though, is the problem. But because it's a llama, it's like, what are you gonna do? Add a second floor to the llama? That's not as fun. I think that if the llama had a backpack, that would be good. And I think that um, that would help with, oh wait, I didn't mean to delete that wall. <laughs> I think that would help with this wall being kind of blank because usually when I do these builds I like to try and imagine that all sides could be the front So I want to look and see like could this be a front? Yeah, could this be the front not as easily but potentially this could be the front It's kind of wacky, but there's possible so I Don't know leave the backpack walls inside. I don't know if I want to get you stuck with interior walls if we've got such a llama. I mean, we could make them stay. I could stick you with them. Oh, hi, Shella. We're making a new shell and it's a llama. <laughs> I don't know. Do we want to even have that? Is it more fun if it's like really committed to the llama? Maybe we could do just like one wall. Just a little bit. No backpack. Hmm. Body bigger? Oh, we could, we could extend this part of the body a little bit more. That might be better anyway. You dislike the backpack? Yeah, I think the backpack makes it less llama. I was calling it a backpack just because I think that this wall's too blank. Snappy. Um, I think this wall is too blank, but it can be like you can make do with this wall being blank. Cause when you think about it, you'd be able to add like a porch, you know, like the things could be done. Things could be done to make this wall less blank. So I want the blank wall so bad. Okay, Tilly wants the blank wall. Make the back of the head a little rounded with a bump out. Oh, I guess. Oh, can I tell you something? This looks like a giraffe now. I think it's better if it's blank. The blank wall is a challenge in itself, I think. You know? I, I think there's something kind of interesting about it being blank like that. When we see this on the gallery, <laughs> it's gonna look, if you like see it from straight on, it's like, oh, that's not a bad shell. You can do that. And then, llama. <laughs> the legs are uneven on purpose, Logan. I made the legs uneven intentionally. That's meant to make it more difficult. Um, or more easy, it depends. Um, half a second floor? I don't know if I want to have a second floor or not. I'm, I'm honestly really leaning towards no second floor. Just, just because of the, the fact that it's a llama. I can give you a basement and I can make it in a very annoying spot if you really want a second floor. I can give you a bad basement if that's something that you desire. So you need to, oh please, Warm, you need to be quiet, it's okay. She's gonna scream at us. I know, I know. Here's what I'm gonna do for your basement. 
What if the basement was poo shaped? No. This one's good because it follows the inside of the building in a really annoying way. Snap said no basement. <laughs> she's yelling because she wants to leave my office, but she's not allowed because she took her cone off again earlier. So she can't leave my office. She's in trouble. She's taken it off twice now. So she's not allowed to leave the office. You'd think that maybe by now she'd be better and it would be okay, but actually she's not allowed, so. <laughs> Check to make sure we can access the basement easily. Oh, you won't be able to. There's no such thing as easy. Hello? Oh, hi, Snap. Hold on. Let me try and pick you up. I'll put you on the desk. I got you, bestie. Don't worry. Come here. Oops. I can't get you because you like put yourself in kind of a weird spot. There you go. You can climb up. You can climb up. It's okay. You want to get on the desk or just want to sit there? There. See, that's not so bad. Now you're on the desk. Okay. <laughs> you're going to skip the basement. I think I'll make the basement work in my version. All right. Let me go on the gallery real fast. Um, Cause I want to take the description from my previous shell and then we'll edit it. This makes it easier when you copy paste like this. Let me also save the game quick, just in case. Um, I'm gonna name it the llama shell. <laughs> just got here. So to avoid Texas, we went with llama. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking no second floor purely because of the fact that it's a llama. By the way, chat, llama shell challenge. Okay, download this lot and turn it into anything you want. The only rule is that you can't change any of the existing walls. My exterior walls rest, must remain, but you can add interior walls, a floor plan, half walls, fences, roofs, patios, platforms, etc. You can move slash rotate the lot. Literally anything goes, just don't change my walls. I'll add in, don't forget the basement. Hashtag post, oh, sorry, post to hashtag Simsy Llama Shell when you're done. And then, um, okay, so for tours, I have written down on my stream schedule right now, she's licking my hand, the 22nd, the 22nd. That's not that far away, it's like 10 days, but it is two weekends, because it's this weekend and next weekend. So is that okay? Do you think if we did do April 22nd? Okay. I think we should be good to go then. Yeah. Can you stack it four times? Yeah, if you want to stack it, you can. We've allowed people to do that in the past. That's a Tuesday. It'll be a Tuesday, the shell tours. Um, Oh no, it's a Monday, it's a Monday, sorry. That's right, I was gonna do it on the Tuesday and then I was like, what if there's a Sims update that day? So I, we're, we're gonna do it on the Monday, the 22nd. That's the idea. Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, is that Earth Day? Oh, that's true. Should we do it that day or should we? No, we can do it that day. That seems fine to me. Um, no, it's a Monday, it's a Monday. And it's a llama for Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. I'll add that. Happy Earth Day. I'm sorry, I can't type because the cat's kind of on the keyboard. <laughs> um, okay, should we put it up then? I'm doing it. It's happening. We have a llama shell. Okay. <laughs> um, this is not really how I anticipated this stream going today. Um, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, Amy, sorry, Amy, Kayla, Ash, Sarah, Cassidy, Lucid, Lala, and Atlas, and Dan, and Sierra, and Sierra, Sierra, and Cereal. Oh my god, I cannot speak. <laughs> and Cappy, Control Shift C, and Gloomy, and Spicy, and Aria, thank you for the subs. Happy birthday, Control Shift C, that's very exciting. Um, okay, so we should build this. I think I want it to be horizontal. So I want to get a wider lot. I don't know. What's that? Oh, I started building a little house there once. Um, maybe we could build it. What does this lot look like? What do I do after this? Oh, we're going to build the shell ourselves now, Bean. We got the, the basic version up, but now we're going to try and do it. So. 
Let's see what this lot looks like. Cause I don't really ever build here on this one. <gasps> you can't remove that. Why would they do that? <laughs> this fills me with rage. This happens a lot. It's it's a handful of lots. Realm of Magic has one like this it, where they do this. It's like attached to the environment and not attached to the lot. So the terrain paint's not like this. It's like in the lot. It's not because of the lot type. It's because of the environment. It's the same as like this dirt over here, you know? There's one in Evergreen Harbor like that too, yeah. Why is it on like a patch? And no, you can't, well you, okay, so yes, you can paint over it, but the thing is, none of the other grass textures match this. So, doesn't really matter what you do. Whatever sort of grass you try to use to paint over it, it's not gonna be right, because there isn't a matching version. There like literally isn't a matching version of that from, from this pack. <laughs> Well, let me just see real quick. If there's a possibility, depending on where we put this, that we could cover it up. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can bring myself to do this. <laughs> Make a pond? Yeah, but it's like in such an awkward spot because it's like right in the middle of where we want the lot to go. Because I think what I want to have, if I did this, I'd probably have the entrance on this side and then like side yard over here. Uh, I don't know if I can build it here. I don't think I can do it here. It's just not going to work. Cough, mentor, and thank you both for the resubs. Um, under a deck. I mean, yeah, there's possibilities. It's just in like such a strange, it's right in the front, in like the middle, you know? Um, it's just not... It's not the vibes. It's not the vibes that we're going for. We should build this somewhere else. Is everybody going to do it on, in Henford on Bagley because of the name Llama? Like, is everybody going to make a farmhouse? Does that make us boring if we do a farmhouse or is it fun? You weren't planning on it? Okay, a lot of people aren't doing it. So we could like really commit to the Llama thing if we wanted to. Let me show you kind of what I've been thinking before we start. I'll show you like the the energy of my vision. This might not work, so I'm gonna do it on a random lot as just a tester. It'll be like backwards too. But I was thinking about using the weird blank wall. This is kind of my vision. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I had this thought that maybe we could do like a long, oh my God, this is gonna be horrible. But I had this thought that maybe it could be something like this. And then there could be like a roof kind of like this. And then I was envisioning, okay, bye Snappy, thank you. You're gonna jump down. Can you make it down? You can, good job. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then this, this would be the front, keep in mind. I'm like just testing something, it's so it's backwards. But we can maybe try and get it in a way where we could have like some of the custom dormers or the default dormers or whatever. Um, I don't know how this would work because they're kind of like not fitting right. But this this is kind of what I was envisioning. Oh no. This part, absolute madness with this situation. I don't know what I was thinking with this. This is a, oh God. But then th I was like, maybe imagining using like a chimney here for that bump out. <sighs> okay, that might not work. Let's try a secondary option. Okay, if that's not the front, 
Maybe a different variation could have like, this could still, hold on. In, in this next variant, this is still the front. But maybe we have it like, kinda, oh my gosh. Snap just went, she never uses this. I have like a little tiny cat bed on the floor next to my desk. She's in it right now and she's needing it. She never sits in that thing. That's kind of cute. Thank you, Snappy, for sitting with us. That's very kind of you. Okay, well, potentially, this part could become a chimney. I don't know. That's actually really ugly, so never mind. <laughs> oh no, chat, I made a mistake. I've really made a big mistake here. This build's gonna be a disaster. Okay, 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 okay. So imagine this is still the front. No, I don't think that can be the front. Isn't that adding walls? No, you're allowed to have half walls. You just can't have real walls. Half walls are like a fence. It doesn't count as a wall like that. Um, <laughs> here we go with Jen and Bridges and Rosina. Thank you for the subs. Half walls are fine. It's real walls that are not okay. Um, it might make more sense if the front ends up being like to be honest, this might be a better candidate for the front with the legs. If you really think about it, because like, well, hold on. We can try to kind of cover some of this stuff up. Oh, maybe I could put the front door like right, oh no, bad, bad, bad. Maybe the front door could go like underneath that section. And then there could be like basically a pool. Imagine if there was a pool like in this area. I don't know. This is maybe the more obvious solution to the build, right? Like that probably makes the most sense. Oh my god, the basement. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fill this on a different lot. I have, I feel like I've got an idea now. That was more like a test concept. Um, and then, I don't know. Um, we can figure out how we wanna do it. Let's see, maybe we could do it where the hospital is. Um, I think this 40 by 30 lot is not so bad. Do you want to try it here? You can stack the llama, yeah. We were telling chat that, so normally the answer would be no to that sort of question, but because it's only one story, people were asking if they'd be able to stack it. Um, and what they mean by that is like making it two story. Well, that's not in line correctly. Um, but some, if you wanted to do that, you are allowed to stack it, I think. This stupid lot and the spray paint too! Oh my god. It has it too. I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so... We can handle that part though. I think that we can make that part go away. Decently. I, I feel okay about that part. It'll be it'll be covered largely because I'll do landscaping there. No, we were on that lot before. Now we're on this one. Different. Um, Brindleton Bay, you were on thin ice. <laughs> yeah, this one's not really a very natural looking, like you can see it's around walls. I don't understand how they did that. Like there, what I mean by that is there would have been walls like right here and you can kind of tell. Horrendous. Oh, wait. I broke it by accident by moving that and not the basement. They should be back together now. Where did that paint come from? It's on the lot. Like the Sims team put it there on the ground and not just on like the build lot. Under, it's like under the lot basically. So you can't get rid of it. Kind of like this terrain paint. Yeah, it's my shell challenge. We just made it a few minutes ago. Um, 
Why don't the llama legs match lengthwise? To make it worse. <laughs> um, I think actually in this case, it makes it easier. Um, I think it's better for what I want for them to not match lengthwise, but you might disagree. And that's the beauty of a shell challenge. Um, they're kind of complicated at times. So, all right, let's take a look at what we're gonna do here. Let's try and roof this again, shall we? One more time. And now we're on a real lot, so it should come together a little bit easier. So that's what I had done initially. And I think I stand by this concept slightly. Yeah, it's good because it like adds some more dimension. Exactly, exactly. So that would go kind of like that. I don't know. This is the Stardew soundtrack. It is the Stardew soundtrack, yeah. Um, okay, here's an idea. And this is allowed by shell challenge rule standards, by the way. Well, first, this is also allowed. You're allowed to have half walls. Um, half walls in my mind are like fences, so you can do half walls. That's totally fine. Half walls are acceptable. I want to put a half wall chimney there. But this is what I was going to say is also allowed. I want to have a separate garage. You're allowed to add um, exterior buildings as long as they are not touching. Like I can't add walls that are touching the shell, but you can add exterior, like if you wanted to have like a gazebo or something or like a greenhouse in the backyard, you're allowed to do that. Um, so I have this vision now of what if we put like a garage Cause that might be kind of cool and we can have it be detached a little bit but that'll help us fill in the lot some more it sounds like you're adding the rules as you go to make your build look better okay i know you're joking but just so you know we've done these shell challenges a million times <laughs> um we the rules are well established in in the sims simsy community <laughs> this is not like a random addition we've we've been doing this for a long time <laughs> with these rules um, it is a, it is a well-established, uh, situation in our, in our community with these things, but, um, okay, I absolutely despise that. Um, okay, I don't know if I like that or not, we'll see. We shall see, um, are they though? Are you questioning that my rules are not well established? Oh dear. I've been doing shell challenges on stream. I know maybe you're kidding. I don't know. But we've been doing shell challenge on ch challenges on stream for like five years or something. <laughs> I didn't just make up these rules today. <laughs> this is not really new. We've been doing this. All right, chat. Um, okay. I like the vibes of something like that. I think that's kind of interesting. We can definitely do something like this and have it work nicely. Cool. Um, and then this has become a like slightly bigger backyard than I wanted it to be. Maybe I could close this in a bit more and have it go up to like there. Oh, please calm down. There you go. Something like that. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have any llamas now, but maybe I do want, maybe I wanna have llamas and I've made a mistake. I don't know. Should we go back and try and get some? That's interesting, that section right there. We'll get a nice big bump out here. So we can add some sort of roof covered on the patio. Okay. And then I guess this backyard is quite small. We do have enough room for llamas. If we really wanted llamas, we do, there is space. We could go back and get some. We could put a llama back here, out in the back. If we really, really deeply desired to have one. <laughs> Undercover Clover, Superbia, Shanti, Kimberly, Lady, Resi, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Let me see. This 
So we've got some lights in there. We'll have to figure out the basement layout eventually. I think on this section, I'm gonna wanna put, there you go, trim there. I don't really know what the color scheme is gonna look like yet. It looks like a really small house from the front. <laughs> You can't tell, because when you go in the back, it just goes way back here. So you just don't really know when you're first looking at it. Um, okay, let's think basement for a second. So, staircase? I'm imagining a world where... Oh, can I raise this up at all? Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm imagining a world with the basement where the staircase is kind of like, okay, probably not wrapped around, but maybe if the basement stairs go like there, or it could go even further back than that, because, no, maybe here is good, because we can close this off. Hmm. Maybe if it was like, okay, that could potentially become a bathroom. No, I don't like that. Maybe you could get scooted over onto, do I put it right in the middle? Maybe the middle's better. Hold on, sorry chat, I'm figuring it out, don't worry. I've got this under control. It's completely under control and everything's fine. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it goes kind of like this. And then there's like a hallway kind of down this way. Okay, maybe this should get flipped back that way. That's not so ideal for the um, downstairs, but this might be good because we can fit like the two bedrooms there. Or at least, you know, sort of have two bedrooms in this area somehow. This one can have an ensuite bathroom. And then there's like a hall bath. And then this becomes like living, kitchen, dining. There's not a second floor on this shell, Ruby, no. We tried to commit to the llama thing, so we didn't add a second floor on purpose. So it would seem like extra llama-y. <laughs> Whatever that means. There is a basement. There is a basement. Um, but. Maybe we close that area off just a bit and we make it into storage or something. Wait, so no vets? Well, I bulldozed the vet so I could build a house here, but you could put a vet somewhere else really easily in game. It's, it's really okay. Um, so. I guess, well, maybe I would prefer it if this wall was here because I want to see that full wall. Okay, I like that better. Um, and then maybe we could close off. If we really wanted to, we could put like an extra office room or something right there. And then layout wise for the floor plan, is it a house or a shop? It's ours is gonna be a house. It's gonna have kind of like farmhouse energy in this one. Um, but I'm picturing that maybe there'd be a living room kind of like in that section. We might have to scoot it over a little bit, but we'll figure that out. There can be a dining room kind of like here. I don't really know yet. We'll see. But some sort of dining table kind of tucked away there. I guess maybe, oh, there could be like a desk nook. And that might be nice. And then I guess the kitchen could go up in this front section. Oops. Sort of like, I mean, however we end up doing it, it doesn't really matter, but something like that. And then everything's all split up nice. This seems like it would be okay. Right? All right, we'll keep that. Oh God, I deleted the whole thing. 
<laughs> Don't do that. And then we have the garage. So in the garage, we could make it into like a crafting room of some sort. I don't know. Um, exit to the back porch. Oh, there'll be doors on this wall. Don't worry. There'll be doors. This hallway is like especially long in kind of a way that makes me like uncomfortable. It's like too much. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine. Fireplace nook? I think that I would rather not put a fireplace in that little nook corner. I know that some people like to do stuff like that. I think that I'd rather try and use it for like um, something a little bit more functional, like a desk or something, but we can see about it. It is where the chimney is, but. Um, okay, could be a great wall for bookshelves or a gallery wall. Yeah, that's true, we can, we'll fill it, but it's just very long and it just goes on and on and on. Um, okay, so. Let's start thinking about the exterior color scheme. So for the shape of this, part of me is like, maybe we should use horse ranch. Bowling alley, oh my God, you probably could make this into a bowling alley. <laughs> if you really wanted to, you probably could make it into a bowling alley somehow. Um, but yeah, part of me is like, maybe we should use a little bit of horse ranch on this because then it'll fit with like the llama energy. Um, I wonder if we can mix and match like some wood with some stone and stuff and see if we make it look good that way. I don't know. We can see. We shall see. I think that um, horse ranch also maybe could fit some of the like white because on these windows not you this one something like this oh that's where the kitchen is though so not that big of a window there but something like this that has the white and the brown is kind of like the exact right vibes and then we could do like three big windows here on this one somehow I don't know, I think this could be cool. I think it should be a darker wood though, because the this one doesn't really match it. That's the right color, okay. And then we'll add some like white wallpaper too, we'll add some stone, we'll really mix it all together. I think this has potential. Just you wait. <laughs> Why is it called llama? Because it literally is shaped like a llama. Um. It's, it's uh, not really confusing when you look closely at it, <laughs> don't worry. When I said it's a llama shell, it li it's literally a llama shell, you know? I was not kidding. Okay, um, horse ranch, that's the right color. So we'll paint this with the stone too. And then, is it allowed to make that extra room? Like over here, it's not touching the shell. So if I tried to add walls here, bad, not allowed. But if I wanted to add like a greenhouse in the back, that's allowed, right? So a garage is fine too. Um, a garage is similar to adding like a greenhouse or if you wanted to put a gazebo or something like that in the back. Um, so that's, that is allowed, yes. It just can't be touching because the shell, the, the key, um, to this is that the shell needs to stay the same. So uh, in our case, the shell is still the same. So it's all, all good. Yeah, as long as it's not connected, then it's fine. Okay, I think that the white actually looks horrendous. <laughs> I think that looks honestly, truly terrible. Um, I'm wondering about maybe trying to mix and match in some of the horse ranch white paneling and we don't have to put that in a lot of places but we can try and mix it together a little bit and see if we get anything good out of it like if we did a, a mix of a few different wallpapers i think that might be kind of cool they could be white shingles too i'm not sure what's best but i think that could be kind of nice 
get famous dark green shingles. They, they do come in dark green, these shingles that I was grabbing, if we wanted to add some color. They have like kind of a bluish gray color. This is like a little bit too bright probably. I kind of like that, the bluish gray. I don't really like how that one looks. If I do blue, then I'm gonna get bullied. So we have to be careful with what we choose, but. Um, the far side of the garage has the wrong wallpaper. I think I got the garage fixed already, but we're also not done with it. Um, okay. Horse ranch. Let me see about, that is not the right texture. There you go. And then if I added like something like that, that's interesting. Yeah, there's a basement on this one. Huge mistake. <laughs> so much regret on that. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm sure it'll be fine once we figure it out. But I did, I did put a basement and we'll see how that goes for us. This color scheme's so pretty. I'm glad you think so, Christine, because I, I quite like this color scheme too. I'm feeling good about this, I think. Um, did I put the paneling or the flooring right here? Just paint that part, okay. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. I think that we can make that work. I wish that we had that exact shade of blue to do for shutters, but we unfortunately do not. So we have to make do with what we've got. I think we can manage. Even if we don't have the shutters everywhere, we can definitely manage. Maybe I'll do this again over on this side then. Okay. Um, the horse ranch doors are nice, but they're too big. Like we, I don't really want to put that there and that's obviously three wide, so that's not gonna really work. My mic just sounded like I covered the mic. Oh, did it? Oh, please don't have any mic problems today, Kayla. I can't deal with that. Oh, we haven't saved yet either. <laughs> oh, good idea. <laughs> Leona and Dutch and Meta and Agnes and Birdwatcher, thank you for the subs. Yeah, we probably should do that. I think I kind of like how that door looks. I like the wood and I like how it has the white trim around it. Um, okay, scoot that all the way back probably. Do we want to have this just continue this way then? I don't know. I'm not sure how far around it should go. Okay. Maybe this part gets stopped right there. Let me put columns there. This could turn into the white texture. Okay. Shall make a good vet's office? It, you definitely could try and turn this into a vet's office if you wanted to. Um, I didn't really go in the vet's office direction with mine, but that's the beauty of the shell challenge, right? Where like, I mean, everybody does something different and uh, it turns out pretty cool seeing how everybody went with something and had a totally different vision. Should you order food or eat what's in your fridge? I mean, I mean, Listen, you, you probably should eat what's in your fridge, but maybe you deserve to have a little treat, you know? <laughs> should is not a helpful, <laughs> but, but you maybe you deserve a little treat, you know? It's been a long week. Okay, I don't like how dark it is back there. Weird lighting on this lot, huh? Hard to see what we're working with. Um, okay, so on the little garage, absolutely despising what it's looking like so far. No treats, must finish food before grocery shop tomorrow. That's another perspective. No treats, 
finish the food that you have in your house because we're going grocery shopping soon chat <laughs> um i know that's terrible i'm gonna order food tonight probably so i'm a bad influence today i'm sorry i'm not helping okay maybe i will steal this and here too. So I was thinking that maybe we do the white again on this part. I don't know. Okay. And then we wanna steal the colors from the front too so we could get the little Bits of trim. You had pizza tonight? Oh, that sounds really good. Everyone's jealous. <laughs> Everybody in chat's like, oh man, that sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, the back is not really looking as good. I'll, I'll say that. Um, maybe once there's a roof texture actually picked, maybe it'll look better. Because right now it's not speaking to me. We do have a, a roof texture from Horse Ranch, and we're using a lot of Horse Ranch out here. We could do the- oh, that actually might be good to do the black, because the black will match the color on the inside of the windows. You have lots of space for a horse. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting that Hope is pointing that one out. I, I do have lots of space for potentially having a horse. Hope that's true. We were more thinking about getting a llama. No, you don't have to do the garage on the shell challenge. That's just something that I added in. You you don't have to do that. The, the garage is like an idea that I added in um, on mine. You don't have to do that. It's not on the gallery with the garage part. Um, that's uh, purely optional, customizable, whatever you want to do kind of situation so um maybe i could do like you said we could do those tall windows in this hallway kind of like we had talked about i'd want them to be centered though and they won't be oh maybe i could put them over here and center them on this little part of the wall because that adds some more visual interest there and then we could do some of these smaller windows the windows look like they have eyebrows oh my gosh maybe a little bit and maybe this part becomes all white around there and that can stay brown that's kind of weird isn't it no i think it should be brown because this is brown i don't know it looks good in the evening Okay, let's think about how we're gonna do the windows and doors on this part. So we know that we wanna have, and this kind of complicates things, <laughs> but we wanted to have the living room on this sort of wall somehow. So I was kind of envisioning, and I don't really know what door it would end up being, but I had kind of envisioned and maybe the horse ranch door is the best bet and we should move the living room to be somewhere else. We could also, if we really wanted to, this might be better for us. We could close this off and have the chimney right there and like have it be actually a fireplace. Um, but I have nowhere to put the staircase. I know the staircase is horrible. I'm really sorry. That was the worst part of the build. Um, I'm like genuinely sorry about what I've done to you with that. <laughs> um... Maybe we do like, no. Do you think I could steal like a little bit of a, a roof texture to have over here? And we could put, no, I don't really like that either. Um, I don't know how to do the windows. I'm struggling. Classic Simsy struggling with the windows. Maybe this whole part becomes, oh, I went to manage worlds by accident. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, and you know what? The cat is being... Hold on. I While we're, like, reloading this, I guess, I could try to move the cat cam around. Let me see what I can do, because... Let me grab it. She is asleep on... I have to go back. But she is asleep. Sorry, worm. You're gonna have to disregard all of the uh, cords that I have in here. But she's, like, sleeping in this little bed next to me. What does that look like? Oh, that's fine. Oh, we should do that. See, she's over here, so it's easy to put. Um, okay. Very cute. Very cute. Let's go back again. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Sorry, Wormy. Here. Can I move that out of your way a little more? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, well, we've got a more of a vision. Yes, I like how this side looks, so I guess we want to try and channel some of that over here, too. Um, I guess I don't really want to have a lot of big windows in that section. I'd be okay with big windows. That's terrible, though. The way the windows are going to have to be placed for it to not look... Hmm. This isn't going great. She's like a little sunflower. Yeah, she's very cute. This this bedroom is going to have a sad window situation. Unfortunately for them. But they'll have to get over it. Um Well, maybe I could scoot that over and we could do something totally different over here. We could do like three windows on this wall, but even then, it's not really... I don't think I like the idea of three windows. I wish that there was like something else happening on this wall. Just ever so slightly. Mm -mm. made the porch bigger it might look more even oh this part I don't really want to make the porch bigger because I'm worried about it um getting even bigger and then becoming a problem with it like uh taking up too much space and the roof looking kind of weird okay so that's a different way of doing it a trellis ivy yeah we can put some stuff like that there too I might let myself have some big windows we'll cover up some of this and I'm okay with there being, like, nothing really on that wall for now. Because we'll block it. Um. Okay. I want to have, like, this thing go all the way out. Just for the vibes. And I guess I might even... What do you think would happen if we filled that all the way across the middle? It might not be terrible. I don't know. Um, put a couple horse ranch doors as garage doors. So, so we're trying to use this door as an actual garage door on purpose. I'm not really that worried about it looking more farmhousey, like you say. I, I mostly just want it to be. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to have like the the garage door looking garage door, basically. Um, I don't know if I want to put an actual door on the outside. <laughs> I didn't really think this part through too well. Because if they're going to have to, like, get a way to walk over here, we'll probably want to put that door in the back then, I guess. But then, like, maybe this should become a little bit less even. I can give myself a bump out. That would be fine. And the door can go on there. Laundry day screen door. There is a cute little laundry day door, yes. Um, I don't really... It's so small is kind of my issue. It's like so short on the wall. You compare it to the height of this door, you see how much smaller it is? I like how that door takes up more of the wall space. This one's always bugged me how it's small like that. I know I'm overthinking it, but... That's just something that's on my mind. Um, okay. 
I don't know. What about a cottage living door? I was more so thinking I might end up using like this kind of door. Like we did on the front door. But who knows? <laughs> who knows what we end up using? You like the color scheme? Thanks, Miv. I feel pretty good about the vibes of this, I think. So I'm glad that you like it too. Um, I feel like it's coming along. I do think that maybe this section could potentially use a- oh, I messed this up. I, I took it instead of uh, copying it. That's my bad. Um, maybe I scoot that back just a little bit. And we could take a flat piece of roof. Yeah, this is a shell challenge. We started this uh, today and we're gonna do the tours on the 22nd of April on stream. Okay. Um, that seems not great to me. It's not really screaming garage, but it is what it is. I don't really know how, like, I want to split this backyard up. I was thinking about trying to put a pool in the backyard area. Hey, you are cheating. What with this? This is not cheating. This is not a part of the shell. I'm gonna have to explain this like 50,000 times. Um, the shell is, is this building. You cannot add walls or change this shell. You're allowed to add exterior buildings as long as they are not touching the shell of the rest of the building. So if you wanted to have like a greenhouse in the backyard, um, that's allowed. For example, um, in this case, we've added a garage in the backyard. That's also allowed. Um, I know because this is my shell challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I made it- I made up this challenge, so I, uh, get to follow my rules with it. Some people that host shell challenges might have a different rule for this, um, but this is kind of my method for shells, and I think that this is a, a decent method, because, you know, it's what I do, so. <laughs> I'm probably gonna keep it this way. Okay, I'm not really super obsessed with this, but it will do for now. I guess. I don't know. I might change it, but I'm not sure. I don't know what I want. Um, okay. But that's the same thing if you wanted to add like a gazebo in the backyard or something like that. Like those, those sorts of things are fun to have, so we let people do it. Um, okay. So, for this backyard space, I'm wondering about... I'm probably going to do this slightly differently than what we've got going on here. But this is a good starting point for like what will be paved. And then we could maybe fence off using the horse ranch fence. Something like the rest of this area using a different color fence on purpose too. And this will be where the llama goes. <laughs> I don't know. Shannon, thanks for the tier three, 52 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, I think that could be kind of cute. Where's my little, they call it an animal shed, right? Yeah. We can put the barn like, back there like that then, and we'll have an actual barn. Do I wanna, I'm never sure how I wanna go about this, cause like, I kinda like the idea of having a slight more private, slightly more private fence, I guess, for the rest of our yard. I don't really wanna use like this fence everywhere, but maybe it would be better to have this fence everywhere. I don't know. Can barns be placed indoors? I don't actually know the answer to that, to be honest. Um, like if you had a big enough space for it, I'm not sure. I feel like my my guess is no, but I, I could be wrong about that. You need tall wall height. That makes sense. 
if you've tried and he's really tall. I could see that making sense though. Um, I think I like how the white fence looks. I, I don't really love what this looks like for the whole place. I think it's nice to have a slight combination of them. I'm also not really feeling great about the entrance to the garage either. Um, but I think I liked having the two different fences. And if we really wanted to, we could try and... I don't know. What's the name of the shell? Oh, it's a, it's the llama shell. Because <laughs> it's inspired by a llama. Yeah, I think the contrast of it is nice. I, I agree with you. That's how I feel about it too, I think. I also think that I might make this a little bit smaller. I'm deciding. I may get rid of some of that. Because the llama doesn't need that much space. Although... Wait, go back. Maybe the llama has like... Oh gosh. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the raid. I'm trying to figure out where my llama goes right now. I was just thinking maybe the llama could have this little space. So we're, we started a new shell challenge today. If you look closely, you might notice that the building is kind of shaped like a llama. Um, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's I made a shell that looks like a llama and now we're, we're trying to decorate it. Um, the rules, they aren't required to have a llama. Um, I just want one. So here we are, but this gives us some space for like farmland back here. Um, and that's good. I think I like that. I think we can make that work. Yeah, we're kind of embracing the meme a little. And this is my cat Snappy. Um, she's asleep on the floor next to me right now. If you're uh, really worried about her cone, <laughs> um, I understand. Uh, don't panic. She just has to wear the cone until Tuesday. She had surgery about a week and a half ago. Um, so she has to wear that so she won't pull out her stitches. She's laying on her wound right now, so you can't see it, but <laughs> um, it's so that she won't pull out her stitches. So she's okay, sort of. Um, I think I will do something like that. Isn't the wound painful for her? I, it's definitely healed up a lot. Um, so it's, it's getting better for her. Um, it certainly isn't not painful, <laughs> um, but it's, it's getting better. So um, she's been recovering pretty well, we think, which is good. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, she's laying on it right now, and if it was hurting, I don't think she'd be laying on it, right? Like, if it was really causing her pain for it to be touched, so, um, I think that's a good sign, too. Um, maybe I'll make this part flat. Can we use the mossy castle stone? We could potentially use the stone. That's not a terrible idea. Um... I do kind of like how this stone looks at the moment. Um, this is from Realm of Magic, but let me show you the castle kit one that the people are talking about. It's kind of more yellow toned. It doesn't match the flooring as well, or uh, the foundation as well, I mean, I think. The back door lights are uneven. Oh, I placed it wrong. But I do, I think I like this one, but I'm not... 100% on that yet. Okay, we're gonna want to like really landscape this <laughs> and really cover up a lot of the mess that we're currently dealing with. Um, I like the idea of trying to make this look a little bit more natural than it is. Um, Cats and dogs. Forgive me, I'm playing the Stardew Valley soundtrack and right now it is playing the like Winterfest music. <laughs> it's April and we're playing Winterfest music, but <laughs> it's just kind of cute. I'm just playing the full soundtrack. So <laughs> if you hear that and you're like, is that Christmas music? Yeah, kind of, but it's only one song. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, I'm making my little farmhouse, playing my little farm music. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll play my little farm game. <laughs> okay, um, 
we'll get some of those bushes. Let's think about flowers. I feel like that one might be a little bit much. I think I don't want to do that much. I feel like I'm I'm leaning more towards like I don't know. How do we think about this one? The yellow is cute, but I kind of want to have it be like Oh, you know what looks good though? The red. I think that red flowers might be the move for this. I feel like the red looks really good. I like that. The red looks really fun with the, the like dark colors. I don't know. It's like the right amount of saturation, I think, for this. We want to do that sort of collection of them. Simsy liking red? I know, what's gotten into me? <laughs> what's happening today? <laughs> okay, some rocks. Maybe. Okay, should I have this be landscaped too? Oh, maybe we should do a little bit of landscaping kind of along this section. Okay, I don't know if the pool's gonna happen for us anymore. <laughs> it's suddenly actually kind of small back here. Is it allowed to not do the basement? No, you don't have to worry about the basement. If it's not working for you, honestly, just pretend that it's not there. Listen, here's my sort of thought process on the shell challenge, right? The goal of this is for it to be fun. So if there's an aspect of it that you absolutely despise, that is like totally ruining the vibes for you, you don't need to put yourself through that, you know? Like, the, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to inspire you to build. If if you hate something about it, look, by all means, skip that part, you know? Like, we say don't change the walls, but that's, that's just because that's how the challenge works. If you really have to change the walls because you have, like, a fantastic idea and it doesn't work unless you change one of the walls or whatever, the goal of this is to be fun and to inspire you. So don't don't let it be a hindrance in a way that makes it not fun anymore, you know? Um, that's kind of the, the idea behind the shell challenge, at least. Um, we want it to be fun and we want you to have a good time and for you to like what you come up with. So <laughs> if that involves deleting the basement, then so be it. <laughs> We tell people that the opposite way about basements too, because sometimes they'll ask us, they're like, look, I really need a basement. I know you're not allowed to add basements technically normally, but I really need a basement for this to work. And like, if you have a brilliant idea that requires a basement, well then, you know, you have a brilliant idea. It's worth it. Don't let the, the silly little rules stop your good ideas. Um, okay. That's good. Um, maybe some more of those right there, and then... Well, that might actually be enough. We could just get a couple more little rocks or something. Kind of tuck them away so that it fills in some of the space. Okay. I actually really like that set of the backyard. I feel like that's really good. We've, we've figured something out, chat. It's coming together. <laughs> I think we're on a roll. Um, try and steal a little bit of that, I don't know. This is from, this plant is from cats and dogs, believe it or not. I always forget about this. I've been using it a little bit more recently because I, I feel like I had an, a phase where I didn't use it at all for so long. And then I kind of like rediscovered it and now I've been using it again a lot more. Um, I think I need to extend this out a little bit more. What I'm doing, I'm kind of putting the plants uh, overhanging on top of the ground or on top of the, the stone, but I think that's okay. I'm doing it on purpose because I, I want it to look like it's not completely flat everywhere. It's kind of the vibes that I'm going for. I don't want to have straight lines really. Um, okay, 
when is the free pack gonna start costing again oh the backyard stuff pack is free today is the last day so if you have not gotten the backyard stuff pack yet now is your time you really should run and go grab that um because today is the last day the backyard stuff is free so you'll want to make sure you get it so you don't miss out um okay i don't really love how that looks put those in the back yeah blooming rooms is meant to be the next free dlc but we don't know when it's going to be going free yet deficient i my assumption is that blooming rooms won't be free until this pack is done being free so probably soon but we don't know when the next pack will be free it's free on console um it's free on pc make sure you grab it though today is your last day so you don't want to miss out how do we know that the sims team said that I think they're doing it as like a consolation prize because the EA app is coming to, to um, Mac and Mac has had no EA app for a long time. So they're giving out a free pack. Um, <laughs> so has there been a lot more free packs recently than usual? Well, yeah, because the usual for the last like 10 years is no free packs. So <laughs> them giving out free packs recently is unusual for them, but um, I hope that this is a new usual. I would I would really love it if this became like a thing they did more often um, in the future. Um, it's just not a thing they've really done before, so it, it's new for us, so everybody's all kind of confused and excited, but um, I hope that it becomes a new normal. Um, We've been talking about this a fair bit because people keep saying things like, why would they do this? Like, what's what's the benefit to doing this? And I keep giving this analogy where like, it's kind of if somebody gave you a cookie and then you were like, oh man, are there any more cookies? Can I have another cookie? I think that's what's happening with the free packs. I think they're giving you a cookie in hopes that you'll buy another pack. Plus it makes you like them because they gave you a pack for free. So that's my assumption about why they're doing that. <laughs> um, I, I think that makes sense to me. I think that checks out um, and it will hopefully, uh, the other thing is that a lot of people, and I'm gonna call you all out right now, <laughs> a lot of people play this game um, in kind of a like, pick it up, play obsessively for the weekend, and then put it down and don't play again for a couple of months sort of way. But if they give you a free pack, you're like, oh man, the Blooming Rooms kit is free. Let me go get it. I'm going to play with it all weekend. And then I bought another pack, so I'm going to play with that one all weekend. And then you're kind of like back in your Sims era again. So it's a way to like bring the old player base, because I think the old player pays, base is most likely to buy packs too. Um, so I think it's a way to like draw on those people and make you happy. Um, and they have so many packs now that it's like not really a huge loss to them if they give out a couple of them for free from time to time, you know? Um, so that's my thought on it. And I'm glad that they're doing it. I think it's a good idea. And I think it's cool that people are getting access to packs. So I hope they keep it up. Um, okay, something like that. Maybe I scoot it over just a bit more so it's not clipping. Um, realistically, a pack's not gonna grab your attention for very long unless it's a game pack or an expansion pack. I mean, but that's you. There are some people who having a new pack to build with is gonna grab their attention for a while. Um, it all just depends on the person. Um, everybody's got different ways of playing and it's, it's not a bad thing to try. I mean, there's literally no harm in them trying to do it, so. <laughs> um, I don't know some pack are free right now. Uh, specifically, the backyard stuff pack is free right now. But yes, backyard stuff is, is available for free at this current moment. Okay, what do you all think about if we try and lay it out like this? I might wanna scoot that back a little bit more. And today is the last day to get the backyard stuff pack for free. Like this is your last chance, final, final call to get backyard stuff for free. It stops going away today. Um, remove the two by the gate. Do you think I should, or is it okay to keep it there? I'm gonna put like a bench or something right here probably. So we'll have some more 
stuff. How do you get it? You just go on like the EA app or Origin or wherever you play The Sims, um, maybe on your console or whatever, and you just buy it, but it's zero dollars. So you bought it for free. Um, you gotta go on there and grab it though while it's still available before it goes away. Um, it stops today. I don't have access to my laptop until Monday. Can you do it through like the browser on your phone? Can you go to like the EA website and buy it, log in on your phone and buy it? Cause you don't have to install it today as long as you've like claimed it. Um, I think you can still claim it on the Sims website. I don't really know how that works, but I, I would think that you'd be able to claim it on the website still. Um, okay. This is why I've been trying to nonstop talk about it for like the whole month that it's been free. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to make sure that people don't miss it. I've been like, hey everybody, it's free. Even if you aren't gonna play Sims right now, make sure you go grab it just in case. <laughs> I've been trying to get people to get it this whole month so that they don't end up in this sort of situation. You probably didn't hear me say it and that's fine. I'm just talking like generally, but um, I've been trying. I've been trying to remind people. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to install it, you're just buying it. You're buying it, but you're spending, like, buying it for zero dollars or whatever. Um, okay, so... I think in this little section, I was thinking about trying to do... some little stone... like this. I'll have to fix that part behind it. Is having an EA account free? Yeah! Um, okay. Um, we'll do, oh, I probably shouldn't do terrain paint right now. <laughs> like, why am I doing this? <laughs> it's just gonna delete itself, isn't it? Well, we can put a little bit of it so we can visualize it a bit better. This will help you kind of see what I'm talking about. But I shouldn't do terrain paint now. We'll put some underneath these too, so it kind of blends in a bit more but I don't need to do that yet. That's kind of what I was picturing for the very back of that. Um, yeah, we should stop doing terrain paint. There's massive terrain paint bu bugs where it nonstop deletes itself, so we shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> we shouldn't do that right now. Oh, Snappy's being so cute. I should probably tell Dan that she's doing this. He's gonna be excited that she's in this little bed. I'm, I mean, now that I think about it, some of you have probably already told him because he's streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I may as well show him. Okay, let's see about fixing up all the rest of the landscaping then. So over here, we want to have a little walkway that's made out of stone for the front. But I don't think I want the driveway to be this sort of stone. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Is this clipping? Yeah, of course it is. Hopefully Dan's computer is fixed. Yeah, um, we got it fixed today. Um, we paid someone to help him fix it today. So his PC is officially uh, back in action <laughs> as, of, as of this morning. <laughs> so they had, he, it was the power supply that they had to replace, which he thought it was, but he wasn't sure and he was scared about making it worse. So. Um, you can change the wall height in a shell challenge. Yeah, I may. I let people do that in mine. Um, but yay, it's fixed. It was a whole week of him having, uh, no PC, <laughs> which has been quite the, uh, the ordeal. <laughs> but yeah, the build's on the gallery, or the, not the build, the shell is on the gallery if you're looking to play with the shell. I always put them up straight away, so... Um, the empty shell is on the gallery if you wanted to try and do the challenge yourself. We've got it for you. Okay. Let me see about... Maybe another big tree over there. I know I'm using the same tree, like, multiple times, but... It's just nice, isn't it? Um... Okay. Was his computer shutting off and restarting a lot? No, it just completely died and, and wouldn't turn back on. Um, his computer just, it just quit. 
as, as you might say. One second it was working, and then the next it was gone, and it wouldn't ever turn back on. It said, I'm out, <laughs> and then didn't come back. So it was really bad. Okay. Not those. I want those little irises. Your laptop can't turn on without blue screening. Oh, that's really bad. I'm sorry. Computer problems are so stressful. I don't know about you all. I'm I'm not really an expert. Like I know a thing or two about PCs, but but a thing or two about PCs. <laughs> you know, like I'm not really a pro when it comes to this kind of thing. So, when I'm having computer problems like that, I'm so lost with how to fix it and it's so stressful. And I I know a little, but I don't know a lot. So, um, it causes me some problems when we have issues like this. And Dan's kind of in the same boat where he knows some things, but um, I don't know. He's not an expert by any means. Um, okay. Did I get a new computer? No, 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 no. Dan just got his power supply replaced in his computer. Nobody got a new computer. That would be really unpleasant if we had to do that. <laughs> I would really prefer to not have to do that. <laughs> that would have been bad. Um, okay, let's try that. Maybe? Sure. I don't know if I like how this looks from the front, but... Well, that's the thing, right? It's like, it's so expensive and um, like, I don't, I don't know about you all, you probably have your computers for work too that are like your lifeline, you know? So it's like beyond just it being expensive to try and fix and scary because you don't know how to fix it. It's also like, now I can't do anything because I don't have my computer. And so Dan, he has a laptop. He's been trying to edit on his laptop, but his laptop is like significantly slower. Um, and like, it's just, you know, not as easy to be productive on it um, because of it. So it took him like twice as long to edit the videos this week, you know, um, which is just frustrating because it didn't need to take that long, <laughs> but then it takes forever to export. And it's just, yeah, it's just worse. Um, okay. I feel good about that actually, that little section so far. You're getting a new monitor, Owen? That's gonna be so fun. I bet it's gonna look so good. Um, let me put a trash can in the front here. You put a dent in your laptop last night? Oh my God, that's so upsetting. I'm glad that it's okay at least and it's just, <laughs> just dented, but it could be worse, you know? <laughs> um, Katie, Josh, Blood Elf, and Zoli, thank you for the subs. Um, when you were in college and grad school, you still use only laptops. Yeah, uh, a lot of people do edit on their laptops um, and, and people do it successfully and like do a lot of work on their laptops. Um, Dan's laptop is also just old, which doesn't help. Um, but yeah, once you're accustomed to having like a, a PC and also having three monitors, um, using his laptop has not been so ideal. He was connecting it to one of his monitors, but not to all three of them, so. Not as helpful. He also edited on the couch a lot, which I think Snap liked. That wasn't helping. <laughs> that wasn't helping the PC uh, slowness issue, but <laughs> but he was sitting on the couch a bunch with Snappy, and I think she liked that. Um. Okay, I don't like how that looks. Maybe I'll take one of these. Okay, do we think it's okay? The light on the left side of the garage is lower. It's actually the same height. I think it was just the angle that maybe was throwing it off for you. It looks like it's the same height to me. Okay, let me see about getting like a bird bath or something. I think that might be kind of cute. It also makes it look a little different on that side, which is helpful. Can you see snap up close? Yeah. Cat. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> That's snappy. Very adorable. Okay, let's get a mailbox 
And then we'll probably get, I'm thinking out of debug, I will probably put a fake car right here. BB dot show live edit objects. Okay, Athena, Kira, Katie, thank you for the subs. Um, Snappy the flower kitty. Yeah, she's not gonna have to wear her cone much longer either. She gets to take it off on Tuesday. Um, she might have to wear it a little bit on Tuesday. I don't know. When, this is kind of nasty, but <laughs> when she had, cause she had stitches a little bit uh, earlier last year on her back. She didn't have to wear a cone cause she couldn't reach it. It was like right here. So she couldn't lick it cause it was like right behind her head. Um, but she had like a cyst back there that, that got removed. And when she had to have stitches for that, um, when they took them out, they put like a bunch of like goo on it, like a cream or something. Um, but it meant that when she came home from the vet, it looked 50 times worse than it did when she got it done. <laughs> like when she went, it was like healing and looking so much better. And then she came back and she had this nasty goo and it was like all red. Ugh. <laughs> it was horrible, it was horrible. How about a truck instead? But yeah, she's gonna have a probably goo again when she gets back. Yeah, they definitely have a truck. You're so right about that, I think. Okay, I'm gonna mix and match the colors of these just a little bit so that they look slightly different. All right, and now the outside's mostly done. So we can start thinking about the interior. Well, that's what I was thinking, Tay, is that she might have to wear the cone a little bit that day just because of the goo so that she won't like lick whatever cream or wh what they try and put on it. Um, but I'll see what they say. We'll talk to them about it. We'll ask the vet. Um, which state shape are we building today? It's actually a llama. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's worse than a state shape. It's a llama. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to the stream. <laughs> the joke chat is that, um, I keep making shells that are like kind of shaped like Texas by accident, but it's okay. It is okay. Um, maybe. Um, some tile. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Should make a Louisiana one. It's a weird shape. Okay. Well, here's a problem that I encountered recently when trying to do a shell challenge that was like kind of oddly shaped like this. I tried to do it like Florida and that ended really bad. It kind of looked like um, inappropriate <laughs> when we tried to make the Florida shaped shell. It wasn't very good. Um, it was an accident, but it was a mistake. So we're not, we are not intentionally trying to achieve state shapes. It just happens. And sometimes it goes well and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to use this. I'm annoyed because this wood color is so much different than what I want it to be like, but I like the color of the, the cabinetry. I don't know. The green vampires counters. Yeah, the green vampires counters are good too, but they're not as like rustic. You know what I mean? These ones kind of have that like minty color and these have a darker cabinet or countertop, I mean, but I don't think that works with this flooring. And I just don't really like, I just don't think I like it. Maybe that's half the problem. We can just use the horse ranch ones, it's fine. It's okay. Um, we can try this and then we can do like, we do have some wooden things. I think I might try and use like this fridge cause that's pretty cute. And then maybe we could do something like that, little stove. I don't know. Trying to find the right lot for this llama is hard. Yeah, it's such a weird shape. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Are those the right colors? Yeah. 
I really don't know what I was thinking. I'm just terrible for this. I love the little accent pieces on this type of cabinet. I think that looks really good. Okay, that's actually kind of fitting a little weird, but it's okay. I'll make it happen. Just you wait. I think I will alt place this one because I like this piece better than the other end piece. So I'll just custom place it. That's not too bad. Right? I may end up getting rid of this window. We'll have to see. I'm not really sure yet. This is very yeehaw. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you think so. Hopefully it's yeehaw in a good way. Um, let me look at the stuff from get to work. Uh, Donut, I'll be here for like, I'm usually streaming for about three hours um, with, with uh, my ever average everyday streams. I will tell you this, I can't stream late tonight. Uh, even if we're not done with the build, we'll have to save it for a different day because tonight's drag race and it's the episode before the finale. So it's really important. So I can't miss it. Um, <laughs> and that starts at eight. So I need, I need to have time to get off stream and like shower and get dinner ready um, before drag race starts. But you all understand. You see where we're coming from, you know. <laughs> Plasma back on our screens tonight, exactly. It's the reunion, so they're all coming back. Um, so our queen Plasma, she's returning. I'm extremely excited. <laughs> But you get it, you get it. Ooh. That kind of has yeehaw energy. Horse Ranch in general also has yeehaw energy to the rugs. But I gotta be honest, there's something a little bit more yeehaw about this. Doesn't that feel better? Huh. Okay, you're gonna hate this because of me, but I'm actually gonna scoot it back and, and this also is not gonna be perfectly in line with, ooh. It's not gonna be perfectly in line with the chimney, so you're just gonna have to accept it, okay? When are we gonna play Not So Berry? Well, we played Not So Berry yesterday, so I'm not super sure about when the next, next day will be, but we'll see. Oh, you know what else we need to do, chat, is get some more white accents in here, because it's all very dark right now. There's a lot of wood and we're not really channeling the like, the white and the wood that we've been trying to go for. So we'll have to rethink that a little bit more. Um, what color? Oh, that has some white to it. That might help us out. We can get like that sort of creamy color. I'm not really sure about this rug with the color of the exterior stuff. I don't know. We wanna get some more of that like kind of teal color too. I'm not sure. Me, I, I've used CD keys to buy packs a lot. I've, I've probably, and I'm not exaggerating, spent like thousands of dollars on CD keys <laughs> because of how many packs I've bought for giveaways over the years. I've bought packs on CD keys and never had an issue. Um, and I've really spent money on CD keys. <laughs> um, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> I have spent so much and, and really tested it out for you. <laughs> Um, okay, let me see about, Ooh, yikes. What I will say is this, EA does not deem CD keys to be an authorized retailer. They'll call it an unauthorized retailer, but their codes work. So, um, we use it for giveaways and stuff. Um, by the way, there's not a giveaway right now. <laughs> I'm just speaking generally. <laughs> Not sponsored. No, I'm not being paid by CD Keys. I wouldn't accept money from them. I think that EA might be really mad at me if I took money from CD Keys. And I mean that truly. Like, I think that I might get in trouble. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I feel like with them being deemed an, a not authorized retailer, I can't imagine EA being happy if, 
like people that are in their creator network did like sponsored sponsors with them so i wouldn't i wouldn't accept that if they asked but um they haven't asked so it doesn't matter <laughs> um okay let me see about curtains i i like the idea of something i'm not sure about those nope go back i do like that rug i think that that's cute i do want to also have some more color so maybe not that much color i want like that sort of like dark teal color that we have outside i don't know um And I kind of want it to be like a gallery wall. I guess we could try to use that dark teal color as like a wallpaper in a couple of places, and that might work. What's Steffi sleeping in now? It's one of her beds. I have two of these beds. Um, this one I brought up into my office because Snap's been trapped in here, but she hasn't been sitting in it. We have two of these beds because I bought one for her and one for the kittens when they were separated when we first found the kittens. Um, and so this, she likes to sleep in that exact bed, but a different one in my bedroom. <laughs> um, and so she has now discovered, oh wait, my favorite bed's in here. So now she's in it. She's, she realized that it's here and she's using it. It's been in here all week, but she didn't know until just now, so. <laughs> she didn't know until today when she actually decided to sit there for once. And now she's like, wow, this is fantastic. My favorite bed. She's got very specific taste, yeah. Um, let's see. I'll probably get a coat rack or something. I bought this this flower cone on Amazon. Uh, let me look and see if I can check my Amazon history. I bought this in like November or something because um, of the kitten surgery. So it's the High Dream Cat Cone Collar, Cute Waterproof Cat Recovery Collar, Anti-Bite Lick Wound Healing Safety Elizabeth E Collar for Cats, Green Flower All Season Style, but I got it in yellow. And I think I got it in size small. It's $15.99 on Amazon. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> what a journey that title is. <laughs> but if you look on Amazon, you'll find like loads of um, soft collars like that. They're not super uncommon. They're, they're definitely around, so. Um, I'll just remember that, thank you. Yeah, sorry, what was that you said, Kayla? I'm writing it down. Cat cone collar, cute waterproof cat recovery collar, anti-bite lick wound healing safety. <laughs> Did you get all that? <laughs> Did you get all that chat? Are you good? <laughs> oh, you know what we could do? Maybe the cottage living couch, cause this kind of has that deeper color that we were trying to match and we could use that in there and that's better. I like that. Okay, that's a nice color. I think that's what we needed, is something like that. Um, do we want to put a TV? I'm leaning towards no, but we could. That actually fits quite nicely right there, so we could put a TV there. No, we should do a TV. Can we use the dark teal crystal kit bookshelves? Oh. You might be onto something with that. That, you know what? That is more like the color that's out here. That deep blue. I guess those kind of work okay together. No, that's kind of good though. I think we should use that for sure. Okay, that's a good idea, thank you. <laughs> that matches like perfectly. That's the exact right color scheme we're going for. Let's think about some sort of chair. I'm considering using the cats and dogs chair. Cause I feel like this one probably comes in a nice swatch that has like the right sort of, 
I mean, to be honest, this one with like the little blankets, not bad. So we could do something like that. Show you the roof real quick. Yeah, this is what I did for the roof. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very simple on my version, to be honest. Um, what was I gonna look at? Oh, horse ranch. That's right. Um, maybe we get a horse ranch little coffee table. We could also use horse ranch rocking chairs, but I think I'll put them on the porch instead. So I'll leave that there so I don't forget. I think that would be nice for the vibes. Okay, this little stool does not match. It's actually from a completely different pack. But my thought is, what if we put the little stool in front of that chair? Yes, that means they can't use the chair. But then it's like a footrest, and it's kind of fun. Right? I think that's kind of a cute combo. So we could totally do something like that. My stairs for the basement are like over here. Oh, speaking of which, I should put my little setup back. Oops. We have a very long hallway that we're not really feeling super pumped about, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it look good. Vibes over function. <laughs> See, you get it, chat. I'm glad that you understand. No, look, we don't need that extra chair. They can sit on the stool, they'll be fine. They can handle it. It's really okay. Um, that should be fine. I don't really like this rug though, is the problem. Unless I do, maybe that does look okay. If they really wanna sit there, they can move the stool. Thanks, Christine. You understand. Llama rug, please. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We have um, this kind of cute... Do you mean this little sheep type of thing? Is that what we're referring to? Does this have llamas? Does cottage living have llamas? I don't think so. Strangerville llama rug? Oh, the Strangerville one. I always forget about that. Look. Do you see how it has all those llama swatches? When I think about this rug, I always picture it in this swatch for some reason. Um, I, I always forget about the llamas on this one. But this, this rug does come in llama colors. If we wanted to, we could use that in the living room. It's similar color scheme. And honestly, the blue in that, it has like blue on the insides of the llamas. So that kind of works. <laughs> Believe it or not, it actually kind of works really well. <laughs> it like fits perfectly. Okay. Um, no. Maybe I will just use this one. Big plant in the corner. Llama colors? Look. Llama. It's the Strangerville rug. This is our llama shell. It's shaped like a llama, <laughs> if you look up close. How can you see closed captions? Um, if you press the little CC button on desktop, it's like the bottom right corner when you hover over the stream, you'll see the captions. If you're on mobile, this is a limitation of Twitch, unfortunately. Um, you have to turn on captions like in your phone settings, like in your actual phone settings, not just your Twitch settings, um, on mobile to see them on Twitch. But um, if you're on PC, you'll be able to just press the little CC button. So hopefully that helps. Will that rug not catch on fire? No, it might, but I'm not that worried about it. I kind of, to be completely brutally honest with you, I kind of like it when that happens. <laughs> um. Do I want to keep this here? I don't know. We had talked about trying to get another big bookshelf in. Listen, chat. What I'm about to do may disgust and horrify you. But what would happen if I used the bookshelves again and I just covered the window? How do we feel about that? How does that make us feel? 
It is a lot of bookshelves, and it's a lot of bookshelves with ladders, specifically. So I don't know if that's, like, too much. But I think it's kind of fun, so... I'm tempted to keep it. They like books. Listen, if this were my house, I would be thriving. Absolutely thriving. Um, this pack, the, this ladder and bookshelf is from the, um, the new Crystal Creations pack that just came out like a month or so ago. You have a whole bedroom dedicated to bookshelves, really? <laughs> I love that. I think that's so fun. Um, can they get past the dining table? Oh yeah, they're fine with this. I do this a lot. They'll be okay with that space. <sighs> You'd be surprised. Sims aren't as bad as you think about little spaces like that. And we'll play test it at the end as well, but... I'm- I'm not worried about that space. They're- they're usually pretty good about that sort- sort of thing. Um, okay. Take out the window. I like how it looks from the outside, and you can't tell that it's covered, so I'm fine with it. I'm good with how it looks. I don't like these curtains. Yeah, and The Sims 4, they only really need like a half a tile to navigate around, so... They're a little bit better than you might think about getting through spaces like that. Um, I think I like that curtain set there. Okay, what do we put over here? Maybe we could do a small little table, like a hallway table kind of vibe. And that might be kind of nice. Let me look at the stuff from Horse Ranch. Because I love that painting. I think this is so pretty. But we could do it in like that color maybe. See, this hallway is not that bad. It's a very long hallway, but it's not horrible. Right? Okay, let me save the game real quick, too. <laughs> Tacky Tourist, Daffy, Kiersey, thank you for the tier 3, 56 months. Oh my god. Uh, Pizza Cup and Law and Shauna and Jazzy, thank you so much. Um, is there llama art? I don't know. Not from this pack. There might be something somewhere. We'll have to look around a little bit more for it. I'm going to try and get some more plants. Um... Maybe... I do like this one. Sure. Okay. We want to put a thermostat so we don't forget. That'll help. The llamas come in cottage living. So if it isn't a pack, it's probably in cottage living, but I'm not really sure because I've not thought about it that much. There is like a llama plushy thing in the base game that we can add in. <laughs> um, so we've got options, chat. We'll be able to make something good out of this. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that one either. Hmm. I think I might put this little painting right here. I should probably think about wallpaper colors. Should we put, this is the horse ranch wallpaper. It has that fantastic wooden trim, which I do kind of like for this, but I'm not sure if it's like too much or not. We could also potentially skip it in the hallway and do something else in this section. Oh, can they get through there still? No, I think I like it like this. We just have to probably raise up some of the artwork if we're gonna do it like that. Because I'm not really super thrilled about how it's looking. I like how that's like sitting on the railing. 
Maybe that shouldn't have two pieces of art then. Maybe it should just be one. Instead of the stacks of them. Oops. I missed a tile in the hallway, did I? Oh yeah, I did. Got it. It's not as, um... I feel like we have a lot more white on the outside than we do on the inside. So that's kind of making me feel a little bit unsure. Like, should it be white trim instead? That has more, this has more like modern renovated farmhouse energy. That completely changes the vibes though. If we did that. I think the darker is cozier, but we probably want to get some slight more white accents. Cause look, the outside has a lot of white. So we'll probably want to think about that a little. I also don't know if I like this flooring. So we'll have to think about that too. Honestly, I feel like this tile is fantastic. I don't know if those look okay together, but I actually think that tile looks really good with this kitchen set and like with the rug and stuff. We could potentially do stone like we have outside. I don't know if I love that though. Hey, pale blue cloud, thanks for coming by. Yeah, we stream every day on Twitch, so I'm glad that you can make it. Um. I don't know if I like the stone. I can't tell. I feel like maybe it should become, oh, that's not really the vibes. Maybe it should be like, I painted the outside tile. Oh, I did paint one by accident. What do you think? I do think that stone looks good with this. It's just hard to match this particular wall tile. So that makes this kind of hard. We'll figure it out. We'll get some nice little like pieces of decor. We'll get a curtain probably. It'll be okay. We'll bring it all back together. There's a second one outside. A second piece of wallpaper? Oh, it happens a lot when I'm painting the walls. It's okay. A floor tile with more orange. I don't know. I kind of want to bring in, like, for me, I would rather have, like, some of the blue. That's not going to work, obviously. But I'd almost rather try and match, like, some of that darker blue color. Kind of like this, you know? Um... I just don't know if that's like okay or not. I think that this is probably the best that we've looked at so far. I don't know if it's great. Um, parenthood. We can get this. Oh, that can come in white too, which will also be good. And then maybe we could put like A couple more bits of clutter, I don't know. Yeah, it kind of connects. I think this floor is good because it does kind of connect all the colors together, which is what we're going for. Oh, hold on. Boo. There you go. Let's figure out a little plan. These counters are from Horse Ranch if you're looking for them, by the way. I saw someone just ask what they're from. We can have red flowers because we can pretend that they picked them from outside and brought them in. <laughs> I know that's kind of silly, but I like the idea of that. I think it's a cute concept. Okay. So that's the kitchen. We'll leave that empty. What happens if I rotate these? Hmm. Oh, she heard rotate and she rotated. Oh, sorry, chat. You have to look at her uh, wound. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad anymore. So it's better, but she's she's showing it to us. <laughs> Bald snappy. Um, 
Okay. I think it looks a little bit better rotated. I think rotated that direction looks pretty good. What happened? She had surgery on Tuesday, or I guess it was like a week and a half ago. So not this Tuesday, but last Tuesday. Um, she, she actually had to have a cancerous mass removed. Um, so she has a, a pretty massive uh, spot where they had to shave and then um, uh, do a massive incision to, to get all of it. So, um, oh good, Simsy didn't see me say that. She's got a five o'clock shadow on her bum. She does. <laughs> It's kind of starting to grow back, so she literally does a little bit. So, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's a mean thing to say about my cat, but you're not wrong. Okay, I'm actually gonna get another window. I think I kind of like the idea of that right there. I think it's nice to have something else. It'll take a long time for it to grow back. I bet it'll take like five months for it to be grown back fully. So she's in for a, a long series of being kind of bald, but the the wound is healing up quite nicely. You can kind of, I mean, it's, you can't really see it that well. So that's a bonus. Um, it's looking a lot better. Five months. Yeah, it, um, she had a incision and like a surgery. It wasn't because of this, but she had her like a dental surgery like six months ago to remove a couple teeth and also like do a full dental cleaning. And when they were doing that, they took off a cyst that was on her back um, just cause she was already under anesthesia. And that wasn't like dangerous to her or anything. It just was there. So they, while they were under, they did it. Um, what actually happened was the vet was messing with it um, to see what it was more. And then she popped it by accident. So she had to remove it and like clean it back up and close it. Um, <laughs> But uh, when, when she had that done, it took her like five or six months for that fur to grow back. Um, so we know that it's gonna take a long time because <laughs> we've already sort of experienced it recently. Um, it was only just recently that her fur from the other one has started to grow back and like, well, no, it grew back all the way, but it, it like started to look back to normal only recently. And now this is happening again, so yikes. <laughs> Poor Snappy. Uh, I'm gonna put this little trash can. I kind of like how that one looks. It doesn't look like a trash can and I like that about it. Um, yeah, they did the cyst removal for free. They didn't charge me for that, thankfully, because um, they, uh, they did it themselves <laughs> without permission. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but they, they didn't charge me for it, so. And her, it, the cyst was kind of nasty, so I was glad that they got rid of it, to be honest. I would never have told you that she had a nasty cyst, but the vet was like, we don't need to remove it because it's not dangerous to her. But like then when she was under anesthesia already for something else, she was looking at it and then, yuck. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna put a little couple of little cats up here, I think. I'm not gonna keep them like this, don't worry. I just have a vision and I need to, I need to do this in order to achieve said vision. I wanna put two of them together. Isn't that cute? And we'll change the color of one of them. Cats. Okay, no, it's fine just like that. Cats in the TV and all. You're so right, Owen, actually. I should have kept it that way with the cats like clipping in the TV. <laughs> it was better before. I don't know what I was thinking, deleting them. Okay. Well, I feel pretty good about that so far. Let's start thinking about this first kid's room. I think I'm gonna use this giant little sheep rug. <laughs> I don't know which one. I do kind of like the giant sheep rug with like the three stacked sheep. So I think I might do this one. And then we can get a pretty pink wall or a pretty light blue wall. I don't know what's best. The blue's good too. Um, oh, she has her face buried in the, <laughs> she put her face into the, the bed. You can't see her head. She's, um, she looks honestly very oddly shaped right now. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> Snap, you're looking kind of weird. <laughs> Um, maybe 
Oh, this bed will be good. This one comes in a pink color. It also comes in like a blue color, but I think the pink is better. Maybe, should I rotate them this way, maybe? So the pink's not next to, oh, that's gonna have their face covered though. Maybe not. This rug is from Horse Ranch, if you're looking for it, by the way. It is from Horse Ranch. Um, take that. Okay, we'll keep that centered then. I would like to get a cute little dresser somehow. Maybe, oh, does that fit okay? I think so. That's lovely. It's very fancy, which is kind of fun. Oh, maybe, you know what we could do instead? Maybe I should put the bed like this way. Is that better or worse? Oh, maybe I made it worse. Never mind. Go back. Just go back. It's okay. I guess that doesn't have to be in line with the window either. Attention, my burger has arrived. Oh, I'm very excited for you, Christine. Have fun with dinner. Um, what else should we put? I'm kind of wondering about giving the kid like a small desk. But I don't really know. No, that's a big desk. Um, I actually had a black bean burger for lunch today, believe it or not. <laughs> Funny that you bring it up, Christine. It wasn't very good. But, you know, it'll do. <laughs> um, that kind of has the right colors. I just made it at home and quickly. So <laughs> I have a pack of them in the freezer. So I've been trying to eat them and use them up even though I don't really like this brand. I got it cause it was on sale and it, I don't even know what brand it is to be honest. It's just not a good one. So, um, okay. I like the bunny. I think that's helpful too. Maybe. You make black bean bur burgers from Squatch and they're so, from Squatch, from scratch. <laughs> Sorry, I said that wrong. Um, that sounds good. That does sound good. I'm kind of jealous that yours was probably a lot better than what I had for lunch today. <laughs> from Squatch. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, chat. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that that's a good starting point. I might be want to put like a, I don't know, my next thought was maybe like a bookshelf, but I'm not sure if that's going to be so much. It fills up the whole room if you do that. Oh, we should do fairy lights. That might help. Hold on. Fairy lights, maybe they could be like little... The little flower ones could be good for this. That color scheme is kind of cute. I don't know. I'm trying to make it work. Cozy chair in the corner. Oh, you know what I do sometimes? We could do like a couple little ottoman type things or like little pillows. Um. Sometimes I'll put two of some of the bigger ones, but we could do just one. We could also just do one set of pillows. Oh, I like this wicker one. That's kind of nice. Can I put that like in the corner? I don't know, just an idea. Sure. Um, and then a little poof. We do have a mushroom poof, but I don't know if I like that for this. I was more thinking something along these lines, like that's kind of like beige, which is maybe bad, but we could do it in like beige and beige and blue. Is that too much? I don't know. We need probably like a big piece of art or like a full length mirror or something. Hmm. 
I want a wall mirror. You know what? Jungle Adventure is good for this too. I don't know. This is like kind of a weird... It is kind of a weird vibe for a kid's room. It's like a mix between like little kid stuff and... And like teenager type stuff. Oh, there's a sheep one, isn't there? I forgot about that. From growing together... There's like a literal little sheep thing. What are we talking about using something else? This is way better. Why did we even consider anything else, even remotely? That's the perfect option. I guess it can come in pink. Um, maybe on this wall, honestly, the trans pride flag is like the exact right color scheme. So <laughs> maybe we could put that on this wall. Um, I think that would be kind of cute. I feel like we need more than that though. Maybe we could try and make like a little gallery wall and get some posters too. The cool 12 year old's room. That's a good way of looking at it. Kind of like preteen energy. We could do something like that. And maybe I could get just a couple more little, if I added in like one or two more little poster things, we could kind of try to make this feel a bit more like a appropriate gallery wall. I like how there's a little bit more texture to it that way. Okay, I don't love this. I'm actually gonna bring a sim here quick. My venue's incomplete. Oh, <laughs> the game thinks it's a vet clinic. Um, I didn't notice I was still doing that. I'm actually gonna come back though and change the color. Is that CC, the pride flag? No, no, I don't have any CC. Um, the pride flag is just in the base game. They added that in an update a few years ago. So everybody has that. Uh, and it's not from a pack or anything, don't worry. I think that would be really bad <laughs> if they like tried to sell you a pride flag. Um, but thankfully, no, everybody's got it. All right. Got back from your shower to see ads. Oh no. Well, you know what I could probably try and do? Hopefully I don't wake her by accident. I wanna see if I can, maybe I can re-angle this a little bit more so you can see her head a bit better. How does that look? Yeah, that's little snap. Very cute. Bald, if you will. <laughs> but now you can see your face. Everybody wants that. Oh, she moved. Okay, Stanley, we're gonna change the color of the lights. Make all of them a little bit more the same color. And then probably go away again, sorry. Um, is my furniture still there? Yeah, we're good. <gasps> Wait, my furniture might be gone because I did that. Why did I do that? That sounds like 43K sounds like the price of an empty house. Let me check. Oh no, we're fine. Okay, it's cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Never mind, false alarm. Let's do the bathrooms. We're good, we're good, we're good, chat, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna use this same uh, tile. I think I might try and get like a sort of, I don't know, I like the idea of like a dark blue tile. Or maybe it'd be better to have like kind of a reddish tone. Oh, like this one. Ooh, let's try that for the bathroom tile. I think the dark blue was too blue. Does that make sense? Maybe I do like it. Maybe we should use it. What do you think's better? Red? Okay, people like red. Never mind. We'll use the red. Um okay. I am vastly outvoted. The chat does not agree with you, Owen. <laughs> the chat does not think that you're correct about that, actually. You spoke and they said, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Actually, absolutely not, in fact. All right, let's try this. 
Who is Owen? Owen's a friend of mine. You see that Arcadia Bay's person in chat? Um, Owen's just a friend of mine. They have a little uh, VIP badge. Sometimes you see those little uh, fancy VIP badges. That's Owen. <laughs> in this case, there's a few other people that have VIP badges in our chat too, but I don't think anybody, any of them are here right now. Um, okay. Maybe, honestly, that's not too bad. How's Snap doing today? She's doing better. She's having a, a good couple of days, I think. She's been playing more and stuff the past couple of days. Um, if you see a VIP badge in any chat, it means it's me, it's Owen. Yeah, actually, that little diamond is a global Owen badge. So any person with a diamond, it means their name is Owen. Um, it's, that's how it works. <laughs> It's not for any other reason. It's it, that's the Owen badge, and that's totally not a lie. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for that sub gift. Drew, Hitch, Nicole, Kelsey, thank you for the subs too. No, I'm lying. The streamers, the way the VIP badge works, um, is that streamers they're able to give a VIP badge to people in chat at their own discretion. It's different than a mod. A mod has like you know permissions to ban people and stuff. VIP, I use it more, um, at least for me personally in my stream. I use the VIP badge as more of like a, this person is a friend of the stream and I would miss their messages in chat more easily otherwise. And Owen uh, used to be one of our mods. So now Owen has VIP in chat so I can see him when he types to me basically. Um, but every streamer has a different method. I don't really feel comfortable with using a VIP badge in chat to like distinguish like a normal person as being very important <laughs> versus like, you know, someone else. I, it's more like people I actually know that I've given the VIP badge to, because I feel weird being like, you chatter are very important, but not the others, <laughs> you know? So it's more just people I know in real life and stuff um, that I've given that badge to. So hopefully that makes sense and answers your question. Um, okay, let's do the rest of this stuff in this bathroom too. Are you Owen? 37% of chat says yes. I'm I'm sure that's accurate data. <laughs> I am I am certain that that's true. That 36 37% of chat is is named Owen. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that totally checks out and isn't weird at all. <laughs> okay, let me see about getting some curtains in here because we probably want to cover this up a little bit more if it's going to be a bathroom. And then maybe we could put in, I think this would be good. I think I might also get myself a shelf so we can put some clutter. Okay. New mod requirement must be Owen. <laughs> The next time I open mod applications, I'm like, you need to be 18 plus. You need to be named Owen. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> very important, very serious rules. Totally being completely dead serious about that right now, obviously. Okay. Those are different colors, but that'll probably just have to do. Um, I don't really know what kind of picture to put in here. Oh, sorry for yawning chat, that's my bad, sorry. I probably made you all yawn just now by doing that. What happens to the rest of us that aren't Owen? Are we out? Um, Christine, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but I, I've decided to go in a different direction with my moderation team. <laughs> Um, and, and, uh, Christine's, they don't, they don't fit any longer. So, <laughs> wait, she said, all right, bye. Wait, wait, I didn't mean it though. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Hold on. Wait, I've unmodded before and I'll do it again. Oh no. I think I'm in danger chat. Okay, this will be good for this bathroom for now. So we have two bedrooms left to furnish, the garage, the entire basement, and all the rest of the outside. 
All right, let's do it. I think this one will also end up being some sort of kid's room. Unless you want to do the basement now. I don't know what you all think is best to start with. Hmm. What goes in the basement? Should it be like a, a games room? I think I'll put laundry. I was planning on putting laundry. Maybe I'll do this now. Because I was planning on putting laundry. And I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But the initial concept was maybe we could try and turn this thing into like a storage room of some sort. I don't know. Everybody's saying sup because my dad's here. People say sup back to him because he says sup and then... Everybody says sup and then the whole chat's saying sup all at once and it's like a whole thing. But <laughs> they're just saying sup because my dad typed it first. Um, okay. So... He says sup and then he lurks in the chat. Yeah, he says sup and then doesn't type anything else afterward. <laughs> He literally just says sup and then stops. Um, why all the skinny bits? Well, this part was part of the shell. This part is just because of how the floor plan worked out with where the staircases could go. There was gonna be a wall on some sort of side somehow. It's It wasn't very good. We were gonna have like a three tile room upstairs if not here, so we had to have it somehow. Laundry day. It is an unfortunate feature of the build. Okay. It's always stuff and then what if we're lucky? Yeah, sometimes um, when I'm talking about my dad, he... I don't know if it's that he doesn't hear me or if he's joking around at this point, but sometimes people ask a question so I answer it and then he like knows that we're talking about him. So he comes into chat and he says what? And then that's kind of all we get from him. So that's interesting. Sometimes he'll say snap too. Yeah, <laughs> eye emojis. Sometimes he'll come into chat and he'll see snap on the cat cam and he'll say snap. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a total of two words. Yeah, <laughs> every time. Does dad get VIP? No, I gave him mod. I don't think he's ever modded anything though. Dad, please don't ban anybody. <laughs> Could you imagine if you got banned by my dad by accident or something? That would be kind of funny. Um, okay, so I was thinking about turning this basement into like a skill room, but we also have the garage. So I don't know if that's like terrible or not. You know what we could do? This is probably a better use of our, our basement anyway. We should make it into like a, a wine cellar. Because we do have, um, we're building like with a lot of horse ranch stuff on this lot. So it might be kind of cool if we did that. Oh, or a kid's playroom. Oh my gosh, a kid's playroom is way more fun. Oh, never mind. We're gonna do a kid's playroom. That's like a significantly more fun idea. I never do kids' playrooms. We do wine cellars a lot. It could be a fully separate like teenager's bedroom, but I also kind of like the idea of decorating it as a, a playroom for the other two kids because they don't have a lot of space to play in their bedrooms because the bedrooms are quite small, so it could be kind of cute to make this into a separate space. Right? That's pretty realistic too, to have a playroom in the basement of like your house. I'm actually gonna close this off, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put a desk. I think it would be helpful to have some kind of like slight office space or something down here because the Sims are probably gonna need it. That's kind of a fancy desk. I didn't really mean for it to be so fancy, but it is what it is. Look at how annoying the lighting is. A tiny wine nook. Oh, that might be not terrible. 
Oh, I deleted the laundry room door too because I was going to put it back and then I forgot. Yeah, this could be just a good storage room, to be honest. We have like the weird laundry room set up down here and this could just be a plain storage room because we could put like the, um, the decor box and stuff in there. Snap gets her stitches out on Tuesday, so she only has a couple more days left until she gets to remove her stitches. So that's lucky. Um, she's, she's just about done. We can put like a vacuum in there or something too. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe a toilet. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think it's quite small, so it might be better to just have it be for storage. I need to put a hamper. Here's my thing. The hamper is not going to fit inside of the laundry room because it's so, so tiny, but we can put the hampers out here and that's better anyway for gameplay because they're like easy access. I usually keep them by the laundry room instead of in the bedrooms just because it's easier for your Sims. They have less of a distance to travel when they're trying to wash their clothes. And we all know that Sims can't. Like the clothes washing is a real process in the Sims 4, so. It's better this way. Yeah, just a little while longer for poor Snappy. Then she gets to remove the cone. She's almost done. <laughs> yeah, the Sims, they tend to like get distracted and then fail to bring the laundry with them where it needs to go and stuff. It's really annoying. Um, okay, I don't really know how much to put in this space. Maybe we just get like a little gallery wall or something. I might get another thermostat too. The further you have to go to do laundry, the less likely you are to do it. Yeah, actually, I think a lot of us can relate to The Sims in that way. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe they're onto something. Okay, I kind of hate this section of the basement, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so in the playroom, Let's think about all the stuff that would be fun to have. For example, giant dollhouse. I think teddy bear. It might be kind of fun if we had a little games table. Imagine if the kids could like play games with their friends or something. Like how cute would that be? The don't wake the llama table. Oh my God. Stop. Can I put the llama game on? Hold on. Yeah, you can use that on any table. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh, it's not be moved. Okay, let's see. Maybe. No, it's from the little campers kit, right? Oh my god, the number of kits we have in this game now is just ridiculous. Maybe I'll do a plain game, or maybe... Are you sneezing, Snappy? You good? You want to rotate? Okay. Bless you. I think I'll use a different chair. You can put the house on a platform. You can add platforms anywhere if you want to. Platforms are fine. It's just walls that are the problem in the shell challenge. And when I say walls, I don't mean like half walls. Half walls are kind of like fences. So fences, platforms, half walls, that's all fine. It's just full size walls and like adding extra rooms and stuff that we usually try to avoid in this game. For the shell challenges, I mean. Well, to be honest, living by the philosophy of trying to avoid platforms is probably just just good wise words to live by generally speaking for life <laughs> that to be honest might just be good general life advice <laughs> is we try to avoid platforms but no you're allowed to use platforms in, in this if you want to um <laughs> we try to avoid platforms and round walls you know welcome to the sims 4 Okay, I want to see about getting another one of these. Oh, we're standing again. You can't get comfy, Snappy. Well, now we're sitting in kind of a weird way. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I love this. I think that is so cute. Maybe I'll move that over there and I'll put this further back so the rugs can be like a little bit more separated from each other. I love the idea of a games room. I just think that's such a fun concept for a kid's playroom. I really like that. And then maybe the kids could have some little chairs. We also probably want to do some bookshelves. And I hate to say it, but it might be time to bring them back again. You know what I mean? If these have to be a different color, these chairs could probably get away with being yellow and that wouldn't be a problem. Hmm. We haven't seen that bookshelf on this floor of the house. <laughs> okay, Christine. Okay. What if I sank the playroom area? Oh, I guess you could do something like that. We could try and have it be... Oh. That is kind of interesting now that you say it. Are you gonna have that weird bit of trim there no matter what? I guess probably. That, I mean, maybe that's cool. Different colored chairs could be fun. That's also true. We could mix and match them because it's like only a kid's space. So it might be kind of cute to mix and match the chairs. My child would eat themselves right off that ladder. Yeah, this is probably not like the safest thing to do for a kid's space. <laughs> I, I can acknowledge that. I, I can see how this maybe is not the best thing for a little kid's room, but, you know. I'm sure the kids will be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be okay. City living. Wait, I want to use the city living poofs. These are just a square. They're a little more simple but I think that would be good for the kids to have. So we could try something like that. It's kind of like, it's a playroom, but it's like a little bit fancier. It's like a playroom, but fancy, I guess. Um, having to type the cheats anytime you get on The Sims 4 is annoying. Yeah. Uh, there are mods for that. If that's something that really bugs you, there are mods that will like always enable the cheats that you can find. Um, so that, that could be something that you could consider if you hate having to retype them each time. That might make things a little bit better for you. It's more of a family room. Yeah, I, I like that as the descriptor for this. I think that's kind of a cute way of looking at it. Um, you can also use like MC Command Center and better build by to always enable cheats if you're looking for that sort of feature. There's a lot of stuff like that. Um, but there's a fully separate mod. I think Twisted Mexi makes it to have the cheats always enabled. And that might solve the problem that you're experiencing. <laughs> okay, I like the toys. I think that's nice. Maybe we could put a few extra toys just kind of around. Those bookshelves are from the newest pack, the newest stuff pack. It's called Crystal Creations. That's where they come from. Why not use the farmhouse toy instead of the castle? Because I like the colors of the castle better, to be completely honest. Um, you know what I like to do, and everybody always complains at me when I do this, <laughs> but one thing I kind of like to do in basements, I just prefer how it looks to have a window. Even if the window is like fake and shuttered, I just like this better, okay? And people get upset, but it just, to me, it makes it seem like such a, a new and improved space. I just feel like it makes a huge difference. So I know that a lot of people hate it and I'm sorry, but I might do it anyway. I mean, we can kind of envision maybe that this room is like, oh, I like that curtain. We can try and envision that this room maybe is like, there's a window well or something. You know, just pretend. <laughs> 
Just pretend. I like how it looks better in The Sims. In real life, oftentimes basements will have like, sometimes in real life, you'll have like a little tiny window like up at the top of the basement, maybe even smaller than that. But this, that kind of thing happens a lot in real life in basements. You just can't really do that in The Sims. So um, I, I think it's a fun way to fill it in. Um, have to have them for safety? Yeah, stuff like that. You don't love it, but to each throw and it's just a game? That's great. I'm glad that you think so. <laughs> exactly. I think it's kind of fun, so I might keep it. I feel like this is not the most terrible basement in the world. Your basement is a walkout, so there's windows on, and a door on one side only. Yeah, my grandparents' basement is like that. Um, they have, like, basically, imagine if there was a staircase, like, here to the upstairs. Um, they have, like, a little ranch-style house, and they have a a little sliding door in their basement, believe it or not. But it just goes to a tiny staircase. But yeah, most basements have window wells that are super high up, so that's not uncommon. It does happen in real life. Okay, so this will be a kid's room as well. I might try and use a different version. As a kid, you thought walkout basins were the fanciest thing? Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting too. But in in my personal experience, which is, which is limited with basements, um, only my two sets of grandparents have a basement in their house. One's a walkout like that and one's not. My grandparents' house is not fancy. <laughs> and I mean that with, with so much love and respect. So, <laughs> oh, I like the cloud. That's cute. Um, okay. Try and make this like a pretty blue color too. Toddler's room? I don't know. I'm leaning towards not a toddler's room and doing it as like a regular child's room. Would the window work if you lowered the terrain? It's, it gets very complicated and I don't really want to lower it because I like how this wall is all even. Do you see how it's like up against each other? If you lower the basement, one, the staircase gets bigger so it'll delete itself, um, but it makes that wall bigger, so. Where you live, it's very hilly, so you can have basements that are only underground on one side of a house. That makes sense. That makes sense. Dan's grandparents' house is like that. Their house is, like, kind of tucked into a hill a little, I guess. So it's, like, the basement has uh, windows on the back because it's the ground level is lower back there, kind of. Um, and that's cool, I think. I don't know much about basements, though. As we all know, I unfortunately am from Florida, so my, my life experience is very limited in this particular field. <laughs> We've about met my match of the basement knowledge I have. I've given you all my fun facts. Um, usually houses in The Sims that have that like little window accent on the outside is pre-planned. Well, yeah, we could totally do a um, like a window well. Not in this house because the basement, if you look, the basement is like not touching the exterior at any point. But if you wanted to, you could build a basement. Um, say we had a basement like over here and then we had it extend outward a little bit, kind of like this. Um, what people mean when they say window well is if you had something like this, because then you could have actual windows. So if we had built the basement in a way that was like up against the wall or something, we would have been able to do that. But with this particular shell, it's not really gonna work. Um, it kind of just depends on the shape of the house and stuff, but you can totally do that and have like actual real windows in your basements in The Sims, if you would like to. Um, okay, that's really tight, but it's gonna have to do. Yeah, window wells require adding walls. So that for a shell challenge, like if we even tried to add that, it would be kind of like cheating. <laughs> for a shell challenge, for any other Sims build, you could totally do that. It's just like for our purposes today with this particular challenge, not really the vibes. What if I did a lofted bed? I actually, I kind of like this bed. I know it's, it's like kind of a waste of space, I guess, to not have a lofted bed but I actually kind of like this bed. I think it's quite cute with the cloud colors. Do prime sub usually take a few days to reset? No, the prime sub shouldn't take a few days. Um, the prime sub should be available exactly like on the dot after the 30 days or whatever is up. So like to the point where if you subbed, you know, like an hour from now, last time, 
it's like you have to wait that extra hour until the sub is ready. Um, it should be ready immediately, but sometimes people get like, they'll have trouble with it not being available when you think it is, like your sub will expire and then it's not available immediately. It like needs to wait 20 minutes or whatever it might be. Um, so it won't take you a few days. It should be available pretty much immediately, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> which I know is like such a ridiculous and unhelpful way of describing it, but everybody has that issue with the prime subs where it like doesn't come available straight away again. Horny for bees, Gabby, Ice Blue Flames, Flame, sorry, Kangaroo and Winona and Britt, thank you for the subs too. I appreciate that. You can try and refresh and see if that helps at all. Um, but I guess this is more of like a teens room then with kind of how we've done it. Um, and that's cool. You still can't resub with it and it ended last month. Do you, by any chance, have a student prime? Because I think that with student prime, it only gives you one prime sub, which I know is really frustrating. But do you maybe have student prime and that's why it's doing that? I think that's what it is. I think you only get the one prime sub with student prime. So after you've used it, it won't let you do it again, which I think is very unfortunate um, and mean of them, but that is how it works with the student prime. So if it's like never coming back available for you, it might be because of that. Um, yours is student prime, you've, you've been able to sub for two months now. Oh, are you sure? I Maybe I just don't know. Maybe nobody knows how it works. <laughs> um, you also can't do it on your iPhone, which is very annoying. Um, they won't let you do it on your iPhone. Okay. You have student prime, you've been prime sub for about four months now? Oh. I'm very confused by this. I don't understand what the truth is. I'm not on student prime. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the mobile. Um, they don't want you to do it on mobile. You can do it in the browser and you can do it um, like on your computer, but they don't want you to be subbing on mobile because um, with Prime, because they're trying to make it harder for you to do it because they don't want you to spend their money because I still get paid even though it's free for you. Um, and the same thing goes with like the like regular in-app subs. Um, it might have to do with the like in-app purchases because of the app store, but when you buy a sub on the mobile app instead of on desktop, it's more expensive because the stupid app store, like Apple, takes a massive cut. So Twitch and like lots of other things, lots of other websites will increase the cost of it um, to like try and compensate for the app store cut, but you're then paying extra money every month so that Apple can make money off of you, which is not the vibes. Apple has enough of your money. You already bought an iPhone. <laughs> like you don't need to give them more money. So it's, it's best to avoid subbing on mobile in every way, shape or form if you can. Um, Cause it's more expensive on mobile. Same thing with the bits and stuff. Those are also more expensive on mobile. YouTube premium is an extra five extra bucks on Apple. Yeah, see when you try and buy, I said extra like five times. When you try and buy any like subscription type of thing that works on desktop and on your, your phone, if you pay for it on your phone, it'll cost more because of the app stores trying to steal that cut. So it's, it's good to be aware of so that you know not to, um, not to do it if you can. Um, okay, so let's do this primary bedroom then. We're almost done with the furnishing of the interior. Then we have the backyard and the garage left to do still, but we're getting somewhere. Even on Netflix. I don't know what happens if you buy a Netflix subscription on mobile. I don't know about Netflix and if you pay for it, but it's not like, it's not just Twitch being evil. It's like, they're all like that. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't really know about the cost of like Netflix and stuff. I don't know if they increase it for you. Does this mean you could be saving money on Spotify? Um, did you buy Spotify on your phone? Like, did you pay for the subscription on your phone? I feel like some of them won't let you pay for it on your phone. Like if, if the alternative is for Apple to take a cut, they might just not let you pay for it on your phone, which is what I think Netflix does, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what happens if you buy Spotify on your phone. I've not tried that. Um, yes, you did. You might want to look into that then, just in just to see if you're paying the actual price of Spotify then. Um, 
Okay. Spotify might send you to a browser automatically. That, that also might be true. Again, I'm not sure. It's just good to check. Um, so that make sure you're not spending extra money. I say if Apple doesn't have enough money already. You know, Apple, poor Apple, struggling so much. They work so hard and they're having such a hard time taking all of your money, poor Apple. It is the same price. That's what I thought. I didn't think it would be more expensive on Spotify, but it's good to know it's the same price. That's a relief. I figured you couldn't buy it in the app. Um, okay. The same thing though with, here's a question. I've never done a TikTok live stream, so I don't know how TikTok live stuff works really. But on TikTok, TikTok live, when you buy those like filters for people's live streams and it like puts the thing like the hat on them or whatever, or like when you pay for like the, I don't know what they're called, like the little things. The, the TikToker takes a, they do make money off of that but it's like a very small percentage. Like you're basically just giving loads of money to TikTok when you do that. And the person is making very little, I think. Um, they do make some money. And that's like one of the only ways that you can make money on TikTok, but it's just like, they s just take such big cuts, you know? I don't know how much the percentage is um, on there, but it's similar with like the in-app purchases and then they will get their share, you know? Um, you're like throwing pennies at the streamer. Yeah, basically. It's kind of frustrating. I wish that were not the case, but it unfortunately is. Should we do like these big windows in front of the... Or behind the bed, I mean? Maybe that's cute. I don't know. On the Prime Gaming support page, while Amazon Prime trial members, including Prime student, are eligible for Prime Gaming, you only receive one single Twitch channel subscription to use on any partner or affiliate channel during your no-cost trial. There you go. And if you've used a Prime trial previously, you aren't eligible to receive a Prime Gaming channel subscription. So I don't know if those people that were saying they had multiple Prime subs on the student one were wrong or they misunderstood, but it sounds like you do only get one Prime sub um, for Prime student. TikTok takes 70%? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I didn't know it was that bad. Whoa. <laughs> that is a wild overhead with the cost of those, those like, whatever they call them, whatever their bit things are on TikTok. Um... Wow. Simsy TikTok stream went, I have no interest in streaming on TikTok. I, I mean that wholeheartedly. I have no interest in streaming on TikTok. <laughs> I think TikTok also has like no moderation tools. And if I were to stream on TikTok, it would probably be as like a multi-stream while I'm also live on Twitch. And that doesn't seem like a good idea because then you can't watch it that closely. It sounds like a nightmare. I know some people have been doing it uh, for like discoverability, like trying to get some growth on their Twitch channel by like multi-streaming on TikTok at the same time. And I'm extremely happy for them with that. I don't know if that's for me. So, <laughs> Bentley, thank you for the 21 months. Emily, thank you for the three months. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I am and Rose and Marsh and Millicent, thank you for the subs too. You watch TikTok live streams of birds in the morning, really? I gotta be honest, I have never watched a TikTok live stream. They pop up on my feed and I like immediately scroll. <laughs> I, I'm i like, okay. I, um, I just don't really have much interest in watching TikTok live streams. If I wanna watch live streams, I like usually will pull up Twitch. Um, I don't really care about the TikTok ones. I feel like I also get a lot of TikTok, to be honest, I deleted the app like a month ago. So I haven't had uh, anything recently, but I, I felt like I was getting a lot of like people that were trying to sell me things as well. Um, and I didn't love that. I don't really have much interest in watching people do that. So that was not helping. Um, so feel weird watching a live stream vertically. It is an interesting platform. It's it's cool. It's just, I don't think I'm really, 
I'm not the target audience. So. Um, maybe we will do something like this. I don't know. Were you just banned? No, you can type in chat. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay, maybe I'll put like a little drink tray. If you were banned, you would know because it would block out the whole chat and it would say you've been banned <laughs> from chat. So you can't participate. So if you got banned, you would be well aware of it, I promise. <laughs> Use TikTok for the eras to wear surprise songs. That makes sense. I can see that. That makes sense. Um, I might actually put a chess table over here too. Um, something like this. Okay. Um, maybe those? I don't know if I like the color of them. I don't think that looks good with what we have sitting there. So maybe I'll do something like this and then... Um, maybe something like this. Also, probably a good general rule of thumb is to not be mean to my Twitch mods. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna side with you over them, so... Just so you know. No one's in trouble, but like probably best to not talk bad about them. You're not, that's not gonna go well for you. I won't be happy with you for that one. Um, okay, maybe we could get out here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like some little planter boxes of some sort. Oh my god. Everybody, you're all stressing me out. Let's let's move on from this, okay? <laughs> Bentley, thank you for the subs. All right, I think that I like those planter boxes. I think that's a nice touch. We have over here, I'll probably get a little... thing like this. Maybe I will open this up so you can get out of the backyard from over there too. We should probably put a couple little places to exit the backyard. Maybe I'll line that up there. Okay, that seems good to me. Miraculously, and I probably shouldn't say this because I'm gonna like jinx it by accident, but miraculously we have not had any issues with the terrain paint deleting itself yet. Um, okay. Hey, Sonora, look, <laughs> let's move on, okay? I don't want you to end up actually getting banned. So let's, please don't argue with my mom. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, okay, I think that maybe like a little table like this is good too. Something in the backyard. And then we can put maybe a candle on top. Um, okay, and then maybe a couple more planter boxes. I know that we're putting a bunch of them, but I think that getting a lot is probably a good thing because we're probably going to have our Sims... Oh wait, I don't like this table with that. We should try and do a darker table. Um, we're probably gonna have our Sims doing a lot of gardening if they live here, right? So we'll try and mix in a lot of stuff like that. This one, I want it to be... Mm, I don't really like any of those colors, but that'll probably do. Where's the kitchen? It's, it's right here in the corner. Kitchen, dining, living room. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, basement, you know. Have I added the llama hedge? I have not added the llama hedge yet, no. I have not. I've been thinking about it. I don't really know where to put it. There is actually, you're, you're right, I forgot about the, the literal llama. I was considering adding this. Maybe I'll put that instead of that other thing. Just so we can have a giant llama in the bedroom. We could put a llama hedge maybe... Maybe I'll put it like over here in the back. And we could probably try to mix in a couple little bits of llama decor too. Oh. Wait, fix this, hold on. 
Does this work anywhere? Maybe I could put that over here. <laughs> More llama stuff. What else do we have? We have don't wake the llama downstairs. We have this little llama trophy. Maybe that would have been better instead of the plant. And then this thing is kind of weird, but <laughs> we can put this thing like in a shelf. I don't know. We can mix and match a couple llamas. <laughs> Bubble tea, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Um, and Sean, thank you for the 16 months too. Have I used the LED llama from high school years? Oh, I forgot about that. High school years. Okay. Maybe we put that in a couple of swatches in one of the kids' rooms. Because this thing, it comes in a llama color, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's put that in there. I like it. Um, maybe, you know what part of my problem might be? Is that maybe this has the darker trim. Maybe it would be better to have it be lighter. That might help this room. We also have a little tiny llama toy. And we could put that downstairs with all of this stuff as well. So that's, I think all of the llamas pretty much everywhere. We're missing, we missed a couple of things, but we could put that one there too. I have both of those. We've got llamas everywhere. Maybe I'll put this thing like on this wall just for the vibes. We have a llama bush now, so we've got that sorted. Let me get like a hay bale. And I'll put some of that stuff. <laughs> this is like so yeehaw energy, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna make like a little stack of them. Kind of over here in the corner. And then we can put some more by the little llama setup. Is that horrible? Probably. Do I wanna give, maybe I should put a little bit more landscaping. I could probably line this all the way through the bushes, right? The llama doesn't stand all the way over there, I don't think. So they should be more in this area. So we should be okay. And we can do some terrain paint. And that might be all right. I think this should be okay. I'll just raise this up. All right, maybe things like a hose too. What do you wanna put in the garage? That's the last thing that we haven't really talked about yet. We're, we're missing like, <laughs> like everything in the garage. <laughs> That's the only thing that we have not yet done. So we should probably talk about it a little bit. Are there actual llamas in the game? Yeah. Believe it or not, there are literal llamas in the game. They're not so much pets. It's like a farm animal. Art music studio. I think art studio is a fun idea. It can kind of just be like generic skill building stuff if we really want it to be. And that might be okay too. Should I give them a bathroom? I don't know. Maybe. Should I do stone on the floor? I kind of like the stone on the floor, I think. Okay, let's see about... I think I won't have a bathroom. I also don't think I want to have a sauna. I think that's like, I think a sauna is like too fancy for me. I was thinking about putting a lot of skill type stuff. I'm interested in the crystal thing. I'm interested in like a, a bit of, I guess like farm storage type stuff too. Oops. And like maybe art studio type stuff. Just, just general skills. <laughs> general skills are the vibes. We can get an easel. I can get canvases. Oops, I was trying to press backspace and I didn't canvas. Nectar making? Well, we don't have a- we didn't put any nectar stuff in the basement. 
to be aging it with, so I don't know if it's worth um, putting nectar stuff in here. I was thinking about juice. I did consider putting juice. Isn't there? Oh, there we go. So we could talk about that, maybe. The juice maker. Oh, is Nappy moved? I don't know if she moved a long time ago, and I'm just noticing, but she looks pretty cute, so. Okay, so we have like a little painting set up, kind of tucked away in the corner. Then there's like the juice maker, which is absolutely a normal. Uh, uh, enormous. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, what was I trying to say? I had to pause for a second and be like, what were you go where were you going with that, Kayla? It's enormous. <laughs> Innormal. I don't know. Look, I've said a lot of embarrassing things today. I, talk I was talking about Squatch earlier. Innormal Squatch, you know? But this, I think the juice is good. The juice fizzing is kind of cool. It's Friday, it happens. You're so right, you're so right. Oh, a clothing line for laundry is kind of cute. Clothes line. We do have a, we do have like stuff in the basement, but this is more fun. We can kind of tuck that away right here. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I like that. That's a good idea, thank you. What is Squatch? I was trying to say squashed, I think, and then I said Squatch, and it was wrong and embarrassing. I I don't know, you know how you misspeak? <laughs> I misspoke, and it was embarrassing. Okay, Laundry Day. Laundry Day has some good storage. And some stuff like this, I might try and get like, you know, those types of things. We can also get one of these lights instead too. Um, the storage I was referring to was like this thing. And that might be good to sort of shove in the corner. I don't know. We can get crates maybe. Oh, I was trying to say, that's <laughs> even worse. I was trying to say from scratch and I said from squatch. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what was I talking about? Make it from Squatch, you know? Sure. <laughs> okay, what else do we wanna put in here? Should I get like some gym equipment? Maybe a, uh, maybe a treadmill could be good. I don't know. Probably just like a simple one would be cute. And we could get some gym posters. We also talked about putting in woodworking. Maybe woodworking is better. Maybe woodworking is better. I did get rid of the gemology table because um, I felt like it was too fancy, but it doesn't have to be. We can put it back. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. That's true. <laughs> we should do that. Don't want me to miss Drag Race, but you want to spam chat either? I know what time it is, don't worry. We're almost done with the build. We want to finish the build first, and we're just about finished. Oh, bikes! Actually, a couple of bikes would be a really cute touch. We could totally do that. Maybe I won't put the gemology table, because this could be about done. Let me look at some of the stuff. I will get a couple things from Crystal Creations, because there's like a wall decor item. This is supposed to be tools for jewelry making. I think that totally works as tools for in here. Um, and then, wait, what was I gonna put over here? I forgot. Oh, bikes. That's right. We can get a couple of bikes. We can get like, maybe two. Oh, you know what I had done in our last build where I had a garage? I have put the bikes kind of like right towards the front. Maybe they have two kids bikes and two adults bikes, but I had kind of lined them up like this, right in the entrance of the garage, almost like where there would be a car. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of a cute little touch. Um, so I might do that here too. What do you think about that? And then you could just steal them and bring them outside with you. 
This garage door, Victorious, is from, it's actually not a garage door, it's like a sliding door that opens like this, and it's it's actually from um, Snowy Escape. It's a medium wall height door, but I've placed it on short wall height, because you can't, the clipping isn't too bad. It's not that obvious that it's clipping. Okay, let's go through and do some terrain paint. And then we should be just about done, I think. Which is pretty good. The inside and outside paving is in the opposite direction. Oh, is it? I think the backyard and the front yard paving are different. As well. I'm just gonna ignore that, I think. Because I think that the front and the back are different. It's not- it's not the Star Wars pack floor. This is Realm of Magic, this floor. Don't worry, I didn't use Star Wars. <laughs> it's Realm of Magic, I swear. It's not Star Wars, it's not Star Wars. Okay. Fill in all of that. I will go through and paint around the sides of these planters, too. Are we gonna upload it to the gallery as a llama farm? Is that the vibes that we're going for? I guess probably, right? That'll be interesting. Video title, Llama Farm <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay, just about done with all of those pieces. We'll get that filled in. We shall get this all filled in. Some more over here. Well, we went through this whole time and the terrain paint didn't delete itself once. So that's good. I mean, I didn't I didn't have to go to manage worlds at all or anything. So that that contributed to it, but <laughs> it's still good. We can still celebrate small wins like this. Have I ever built a petting zoo? No, I don't I don't think I have. I guess you could kind of do that now that I think about it. You could kind of do that with um the like horse ranch stuff. How much dirt should we put around this? Probably a bunch, right? But you could kind of do that with horse ranch because we have like the little goats and sheeps and stuff. Sheeps, plural, God. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, I think that the build might be done. I think this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Maybe I'll scoot these over just a bit more. There. Um, but you could use the ranch party and then have like a little petting zoo kind of vibe. Go to thanks for the 11 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, and we have our llama farm. So I'll give you a quick tour. If you look closely, ignore this part, but look at like the shell of the rest of the building. It's inspired by the shape of a llama. I can show you the shell. Um, it's, it's a llama. <laughs> and the idea was that, um, you, you know, would turn it into a building of any sort. It's on the gallery if you want to try the shell challenge. Everybody has the same shell to start with and then you make it into anything. You can rotate it, you can put it on a bigger lot, a smaller lot, you can do kind of whatever. Um, you just can't change those existing walls, right? Those have to stay. There is a basement, which we'll get to. Um, but here's what the front looks like. We have a little garage and driveway that we added. We added that extra um, just to have some more stuff to fill up the lot. Um, but when you first walk up to the house, you enter in through a little front door. We've got a small dining room here to the left. Uh, we have this really huge living room and fancy bookshelf vibe. They have a nice kitchen kind of tucked away in the corner as well. Um, this is in Brindleton Bay. This is actually where the vet is usually located, but I got rid of the vet um, and built this. <laughs> we have one bathroom in the hallway, and then we have three kids' rooms. This is the first one. It's, it's kind of like... I guess it's sheep themed, but it's very colorful. Um, we have this one that's kind of also sheep themed, but it's more blue. <laughs> and then we have this primary bedroom. They have an ensuite bathroom as well. So it's a three bed, two bath house. In the basement, um, through this little hallway, you can get the access to the basement. We have laundry down here and this weird long skinny room, kind of strange. There's like an office nook. We have a little storage nook too. And then this is like a playroom for the kids. So we do have that. Um, we do have a uh, little playroom set up. Maybe I'll get a cork board. I don't know why I would do that, but maybe I'll put something. Can you switch the lot for the challenge? Yeah, you can build it on whatever lot you want. And it doesn't have to be a house. You can make a community lot. You can do whatever. Um, so that's the whole basement. Outside, you come into the back door um, through the living room. We've got like a little rocking chair set up. There's a grill and a big dining table. There's a chess table. I might actually get a telescope too. I feel like I might as well. 
Maybe I could put the telescope like out here to give you a reason to use this space a little bit more. Um, but then we have uh, like a space for the llama because the house is shaped like a llama. <laughs> There's like a whole farm set up and we have a clothesline to dry your clothes. And then over here, we also have the garage. Oh, I didn't fix this yet either. Oops. Um, we also have the clothesline and then the garage you come in, it has a bunch of like skill building stuff. So there's like an easel, there's juice fizzing, there's a woodworking table, there's some bikes. Um, can you switch the walls of the shell to be a fence? I always tell people no on that one. Um, so the question, hold on. Sorry, I was gonna change that. The question is, can you change the walls to be a fence like that? I usually say no. You can add a fence and you can add a half wall, but you can't change it into a fence or a half wall. We want these walls to stay the same. Everything else is pretty much fair game, but just those walls, we wanna keep them the same. Um, but here's the thing. I kind of have this philosophy about the shell challenge where, yes, that is the rule, okay? Um, so like, if you want me to tour your build on stream, which I probably won't do anyway, because it's so many people, <laughs> um, it's probably best to not break the rules, but, if you have a really fantastic idea and that requires you to delete a wall for it, the point of the shell is to inspire you and, and like make you want to build and, and give you a fun thing to do. So don't let it ruin your, your ideas and don't let it dampen your creativity, you know? Um, if you really want to, like, it's totally worth uh, to just ignore the rules for that, you know? There are a couple windows um, that just an idea like Hope just said that maybe could work like a fence for you. Um, there's like a window from the cats and dogs pack, for example, oops. Um, this one, you can kind of make it look like a fence depending on how you do it. Um, so that's always an idea if you like fill up the wall with it and stuff. Um, so there are options out there. I never use this window like ever, um, but you don't just do what makes you happy. That's always the goal. So, and we're gonna do a tour stream of these shells on Tuesday the 22nd, Monday the 22nd. Sorry, I said the wrong thing twice. Um, if you look on hashtag Simzy Llama Shell, that's where you can upload them. A few people have already uploaded theirs, it looks like, which is kind of cool. Um, so they've been working on it today, it looks like. <laughs> uh, but just upload it with the hashtag Simzy Llama Shell, and then we'll be able to find them for the tour. Uh, we tour them randomly on stream, just based on like random names we draw out of a hat from who suggests theirs. Basically, there'll be like a point reward and you put your username in and then I'll randomize them. So there's not a high chance of me touring yours specifically. So if your goal is for me to see it and you're gonna have like your life ruined by me not seeing it, um, I just want you to have like your expectations manage because sometimes there will be like 800 builds and we just can't look at them all on stream you know it's just not possible so um just keep that in mind we'll manage expectations for for that monday but that's the 22nd so you have a couple weekends to work on it if you wanted to do it you don't have to do it it's just if you want to um the goal is for it to be fun and inspire you and you don't have to do anything so <laughs> um shall i call it the llama shell challenge my version of my new Hashtag Simsy Llama Shell. Um, or should I call it something else? Like, oh no, I was gonna call it the Llama Farm. Llama Farm. <laughs> um, this is heavily inspired by llamas. There are three bedrooms, a playroom in the basement, a skill room in the garage, and a llama in the backyard. Okay, I'm ignoring the basement, but I have a cool idea. That's totally fine. Feel free to ignore the basement if you want to. You don't have to do the basement. It's meant to be fun, so <laughs> feel free to ignore the basement. Um, okay, so it's up on the gallery if you're looking for it. I am really proud of this one. This one turned out really fun, I think. I'm, I hope that you all enjoyed this build because I, I liked this one. I think it's kind of an interesting color scheme, so um, hopefully you like it. And then I guess on that note, we'll probably end the stream. Everyone say bye, Snappy. Snappy, say bye, chat. I don't think she cares about you, chat. <laughs> How many packs? Oh God, I don't even wanna know. Probably too many. Let's find out. Ooh. Yikes, a horrifying number of packs is how many packs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I will be back tomorrow. We're gonna play some Stardew Valley tomorrow on stream. Uh, we did a farm build in The Sims today. We're gonna literally farm tomorrow. Um, so, so I will see you tomorrow, chat. We'll, we'll do some farming. Um, and then I will catch you all there, yes? Um, 
let me go and find someone to raid. Perhaps we could raid somebody who is playing The Sims. That might be kind of fun. Um, or maybe actually, no, let's write a simmer. Never mind. I gotta stop. It's the world does not revolve around Stardew Valley, Kayla. Even if I think it does. <laughs> um, there's a streamer called Pale Green M. I have no idea what she's doing right now, but we can go rate her. <laughs> we can go over and say hi. We're playing The Sims. It looks like um, so we can go over and hang out and say hello. Um, and then I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay. But we'll we'll play some farming. <laughs> the world does revolve around Stardew when you think about it. Maybe you're right. I think me and Dan are going to go to the farmer's market tomorrow, which will be kind of fun. So I'll have updates for you about that afterward as well. I'm farming all day. Farmer's market, farmer's game, <laughs> farmer sims build. <laughs> uh, but anyway, have a good rest of your night. I'm going to go watch Drag Race now, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, okay. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. Bye.